Welcome to episode 160 of the Hot Nation USA podcast, and we have something special for you this week because we've left the studio, but in order to leave the studio, that means we have to bring on guests who aren't in, with us. We're back on Zoom. I hate Zoom, but... <laughs> you are but. so deflated 10 seconds in. Oh, but our audio, <laughs> our audio quality was so good last week. It so, really so was. Crisp. Oh, and I missed it, and I miss being in a room with a person, even <laughs> if that person general. was Adam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve, I missed you too. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, yes, this week I am joined by my co-host, Adam. As always. And guest host, Dennis. What's up, bugaboos? And for the, f- <laughs> and for the first time <laughs> since November of last year, we are joined by a brewery, and that brewery is Couch Brewing. <laughs> And we have the we have a new crew from our last episode. We had Darren, Kerry, and Mike the first time around. Well, now we're joined by Darren again. You just have to say hello. This is still audio. I thought everybody <laughs> could see me, but hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah, you still have to play to the audio crowd. Uh, we're joined by Beth, their front house manager. Hola, hola. And we're also joined by a new addition to their crew, Bobby Nacho. Good. <laughs> and uh, Bobby Nacho, we've actually interviewed in the past for Yin's Brewing TV show. That episode never came out, but we still interviewed him. And we met him uh, back when he was a home brewer, but now he's a brewer brewer. And it's nice to see somebody move up that way in the past two years. So here we are with Bobby Nacho. <laughs> hey! Roberto. We have beers from Couch as well. Yeah. That is great because yes, it is. we're not all drinking <laughs> some random ass collection of beers. We're all going to drink the same three beers and talk about the same three beers tonight. Except, except for, for Darren. me. Except for Darren. Except for me. <laughs> Darren, I didn't bring water. any home with me. S- super transparent. He just told it himself. We could have played this off this yeah. whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right it's one thing game. we don't do at couch is lie, Dennis. <laughs> we don't lie. <laughs> you know, it's a mission. <laughs> everything, everything is above board. Everything. I feel like that should be on a t-shirt. <laughs> we don't lie, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag the real Darren Gailey. <laughs> with, with just the Couch Brewery logo. <laughs> we don't Laying lie, on the couch. Dennis. <laughs> I'm afraid there will be a lot of explaining of that t-shirt, though, and I would be sick of explaining it to no, anybody. If, if they don't get it, they don't get – well, if they don't get it, they just don't get a high five. That's all. That's just it. give yeah. them a pamphlet with all the information when they purchase <laughs> <laughs> the What you need to know. It's own material. <laughs> Not Plus, a good menu. If, a good shirt menu. If you're explaining that joke every time, you're basically giving him free advertising. That's exactly hey. right. Everybody wins. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's go into our first beer from Couch this evening. And – we have something that's a little bit interesting. It's a series of beers from Couch that you can all get them right now if you're listening on a Friday, as you should. As you should. And this isn't this isn't a vertical, and it's not really a horizontal. It's no, it's a series. A, I just said it was a series. I was gonna I was gonna make <laughs> you know a what, diagonal joke. You know what Come Adam on. has to do? He has to slide in there, put some Adam humor on it. Yeah. <laughs> he just wanted to say get horizontal. Okay. <laughs> and Steve comes in and just wrecks shop. Yeah. <laughs> I already did that, Adam. I've already been there. <laughs> But uh, we're drinking their F1, F2, F3 series, and I'll let Darren explain what the F1 is and what the series is about. So F1 is Bobby's <laughs> very first beer with us. It is a hazy IPA. It's got mosaic and cascade and equinot hops in it, some of the three of my favorite hops. And uh, we started this series during lockdown. And... Uh, we figured we got to come up with uh, this will give us a good opportunity to think of some cool things to do. And one of them was, you know, we're all sitting in lockdown, at least for me, it was a lot of quiet reflection on life and how things were and thinking back to my childhood. And one of the 
one of the best memories I have from my child is my uncle had this really cool, awesome slot car set that we got to play with. Um, he was older than us, so like he left for the uh, Air Force, and he left us this really cool slot car set. And growing up in the 70s, seeing like the Ford GT40 and the Ferrari cars, and they all ran around on this little – I can even still smell how that – they, those cars have a certain smell to them whenever the electricity went through them. So I figured, well, hell, we'll just, they were beautiful colors, simple, straightforward designs. And I figured we could have a lot of fun with them. So we just made like a series of uh, like slot car at Formula One slot car cans. So let me ask, uh, with this series, everything's a little bit different. Like, it's not like everything's an IPA in this series. No, no. This was, is just like – this This series is basically a label series. The beers are going to be all completely different. Um, the, the, the labels are for fun. That's mm -hmm. it. Completely for fun. Um, you might like our next series that are, that's coming out. Uh, if you like Ric Flair, you might like Ooh. our next one. Correct? <laughs> so, uh <laughs> Everyone is, uh, I don't know, labels are starting to get like all kind of look the same. And I wanted something that whenever you see it on the rack in the, uh, the beer distributor or at your favorite six pack shop, that it's so simple and so bold. It just pops really quickly at you. And then if you look at the label, you see right above the F1, there's like a little emblem that says couch in it. Well, I, took the sponsors of all of those teams. So the sponsor of that Ford team was Golf Oil. That Those are Golf's colors. That was their logo. I just wiped out Golf and put <laughs> a freaking couch in there. So if you look at all of our cans, they're, uh, the original team sponsors, uh, I, uh, I made them in the little mini couch logo. So, and there's a couple little Easter eggs hidden on the cans. So. Oh, damn it. Now I got to read through everything. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> So I, I, what I was wondering, though, was is every flavor like somebody's baby? Like, did somebody pick a hazy IPA specifically or did no. somebody pick? OK, I was just wondering. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is. A, it, it's a it's a brand new IPA from us. It's from the mind of Roberto Nacho. And, uh, you know, this is his debut with us, so we wanted to have a cool can. And Actually, it was the milkshake was the debut. Oh, yeah. The milkshake. But we decided after, ap after all of this, you know, sitting at home and just thinking about things, I want everything to have an order and I want everything to um, be part of a sequence. Before we were like, it was, it was like artists just throwing paint on the wall. And now uh, we have to start to focus our, our, um, our, our talents and start focusing uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Focus. Brand building? Focusing? <laughs> our, focus our brand building uh, and, and really focus what we want to do as a brewery. And so every label that comes out now, they're all F uh, not FDA approved, Polo approved so they could be sold across state lines. So, you know, um, personally, I don't want to release beers without labels that go with new cans and roll everything out at one time. We're probably, there will still probably be beers that get released without any kind of can or anything like that. So, but yeah, just plus, plus they look really freaking nifty. What happened, Beth? Oh, I sneezed. <laughs> Put it right out of the chair. I sneezed. Uh, that's why we're doing oh. this remotely. Got that room. <laughs> uh, I'm allergic to my scent right now. Go ahead, Dennis. <laughs> so let's say it. Nope. 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 I was I'm, I'm just it. a good I boy. Like, <laughs> was I? I was giving you the bait. I was hoping you'd take it. I was but, like, uh, like, this is something that comes out like 10 years from now. I decided to run for president or something. I'm like, that one time. That was very I'll, questionable. I'll sign off. I'll sign off on it. You'll, you'll be okay. Dennis, but, I'd still vote for you. Yeah, me thanks. too. Oh, I'll still vote for you, but that doesn't absolve you from every other episode you've been on as well. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm starting to think of the future starting on this episode. <laughs> I'm starting to get jealous because 
Steve obviously has the best microphone out of all of us. No offense, Dennis, but no, no, Steve sounds no, like he has a he radio does. voice on right now. I do have my radio voice and I do have my radio mic. As oh, much man. as I hate Zoom, I still try to maintain quality of some sort. <laughs> it's God almost like it. an act of defiance. <laughs> it is an act of defiance because everybody does Zoom and it all sucks. I try my best to make it not suck. <laughs> all, right. all right, let's let's get Steve back in the happy place. Let's let's try this beer before it goes off the rails. <laughs> So, so I, I will, I've been drinking the beer while Darren was talking about it, though. Oh, uh, me too. Me too. Yeah. I'll be honest. Actually, I started one before the podcast. Here, like a loser? Unopened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, Dennis. Oh. Dennis, no. Keep up now, Dennis. Keep up. Come on. Pop I was being Dennis. nice. But oh, for those of you at home looking at the video element, you can see that I've been having a picture of the beer up already. And... Uh, it is definitely hazy, but it's not like juice bomb hazy. It doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like a pseudo Sue or an Alpha King or anything like that. It's a lot more deeper gold and deeper orange in color. To get and Dennis is pouring one up right now. You can yes. see in the video it has a very picturesque picturesque head as well. I really like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, mm. really well carbonated. Yeah, I that's, like that. That's on point. Mm, and this has really one. improved his pouring ability. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's easier when I'm not pouring straight out of a growler. <laughs> like I need to cut, cut that out a little bit. I was getting a little, a little too, uh, a little too ambitious. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm enjoying this beer so far. It it definitely builds. It has a real like bitter back end to it, which I like on IPAs. But it builds and it just has a nice character mm. all throughout. Adam, <laughs> you can't say uh, nice character and then go to Adam. Like, that's, that's true. Just, that is no, true. yes, I can. It's, so say good things and then give it to the person who doesn't like IPAs. <laughs> oh, I see what you did. I see what. That's you right. Did. Uh, yeah, I, I I know exactly what you're saying, Steve, with the uh, with the bitter back end, and it does have a bit of that hop residue for sure. Uh, so that's that is one thing for me. Uh, I'm not a fan of it, but that's just that's personal taste that has nothing to do with the craft of the beer itself. Uh, but one thing that will do is that'll keep me going back for more, so I can just have that kind of multi front end before the the hot back end comes back into play. So I'm probably gonna hammer through this beer, and I'm gonna be okay with that. <laughs> so you are saying you'll survive? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a bad beer by any stretch of the imagination. This it's got race car things. You like race car things? I love race car things. <laughs> <Did> it help you? <laughs> right. Well, like Darren was saying, with the you know looking for the branding to to pop out while still being simple. When you bring something as famous as like the golf livery here, I mean, to me that was an immediate ch a check plus. I saw that and I knew exactly <laughs> what it was, and I knew I had to look at it closer. So that that knocked it out of the park right there. So you caught one eye for sure, Darren. <laughs> I'm glad because I think that I think that livery catches a bunch of eyes, and I'm glad you appreciate it, Adam. Mm -hmm. The and the the other two, which we'll get to later. I I, I appreciate where you're going, and I got more ideas. <laughs> I've, I've got a list going. Don't worry. All right, you just found a consultancy there, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> He's on it. I don't know if you know, you know, Adam and. Darren, you guys haven't met before, but uh, Adam is a bit of a car connoisseur and knows a good bit about the Grand Prix, so he'll help you out if you ever need anything. Absolutely. Well, Dennis, I would like, or, uh, or Adam, I'd like to introduce you to my family. Uh, over here, <laughs> this is Bobby. That's Peter. That's Greg. Over here. Oh, my arm. It keeps disappearing. But that's Cindy. Cindy. Jan. And Marsha. Marsha, 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 Marsha. I'm you know impressed that you got all of those. Yeah, yeah. No, that was that was really good. You know what's funny? I'm pretty sure Bobby Nacho has a bigger family than the Rarity Bunch. <laughs> For sure. This, this is only a fraction of what Bobby Nacho has. <laughs> There's not enough room on the squares. <laughs> I think I think Zoom only goes up to 49 people. So, <laughs> so reunions are out with him. Well, without without a commercial license. <laughs> you have to like invest in like enterprise licensing to do one with all the all the nachos <laughs> all the little chips <laughs> all the little chips <laughs> the taquitos <laughs> so dennis how do you feel about this beer 
I am digging it. So the first thing that hit me were like the, the aromatic, like just the freshness on the nose. It kind of really enticed, entices me to dip into it. Uh, and as I was drinking it, I agree with uh, Adam on the point that he made as far as like the, the multi, like multi front end. I, I definitely pick up on that, but then I really love like, it, it, I know it's the hazy IPA. I know it's not really uh, described at least for anything I read as a new England style. See, oh. I have trouble seeing colors. Wow. You need some so I glasses. Can't, I can't like read. No, I'm colorblind. I can't read like what oh, that says. Glasses um on there but this it, it hits me with like a west coast style type of backbone on the back end which honestly i love that uh way too much nowadays everything's just so laden down with lactose it's so i'm not against milkshakes it's just refreshing to get something that actually reminds you of an ipa so i i, I really dig this and i'm going to finish this relatively quickly <laughs> yeah i wonder if That's this what falls she said? <laughs> I'm with Dennis, but I, I wonder if this falls more into like the mountain IPA style mm. or the central, uh, central, I don't want to say Central America because it's not. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I know what you're yeah. saying. And yeah, you're right. Central Midwest? America would be a totally different. <laughs> <laughs> There's a name for it, but it's passing me by. But like those are more like classy, um, like uh, hazy, but they're still uh, West Coast on the profile. Right on the flavor profile, whereas West Coast are typically clear through and through. This isn't, right. but it still has that bitterness and punch, and it's not like a sweet, just soft baby kisses that you get from <laughs> New England IPAs. Them soft baby kisses. Well, well, Bobby's the one who designed and brewed it, so. so uh, it, does, it, Bobby. Does have a, it does have a little bit of the, the West Coast in it. Um, I, I try to keep the hops to be a little bit softer so they're not – really really bitter and strong and in your face thank um, you it's it's something that, <laughs> yes, you know, and, and Adam, it, it, that beer is made for people like you i mean it, not everybody likes that really strong hop in your face flavor so this one i i try when i do it i try to keep them on the softer side so they're not so overbearing um and the guys that really like the hops they'll be like yeah i wish you had more hops but right this this isn't you know this this isn't your 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 traditional ipa and it's just something that if somebody comes in the tap room that doesn't like IPAs, they'll drink it and say, well, that's, that's not, that's not like what I'm used to. So I'll drink that. Um, I mean, we'll have some more of the, the more in your face stuff, but this is just something that the hops are a little bit on the softer side and it's just a little bit easier to drink. Um, and it's just, you know, I'm not a big total hop head myself. I like things that are a little more multi, a little more, flavorful rather than just all that hop in your face right. and it's just something that i've worked on over the over the last few years and i just think that there's it's it's a nice space you know it, it's just a, a comfort level that you can ease into you definitely nailed it yeah. uh, i i think one of the things i want to point out um in a world especially here in the northeast where everything's a milkshake IPA, everything is just so like juicy, um, even softer undertones of hops, like hit you like five, 10 years ago when you would have a West Coast style. Um, and I think uh, I definitely want to see more of that. So you definitely hit nail on the head, multi soft undertones of hops, but relatively speaking to other brews that are coming out today, it feels like there's more hops in here than what there are. And I love that about it. Yeah, it's also very flavorful. So, yes. yeah, we agree all around. So we'll come back to this at the end of the segment and get kind of final thoughts. But uh, for now, let's speed ahead into just getting to talk about couch a little bit more. Oh, I love that, Steve. <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> but it could put all our heads on there. So. I could have, but I didn't have your uh, pictures. <laughs> is, that, is that Rob Zombie? No, that's just me. <laughs> that's Steve's face. Wow. Steve. No, I get, I get what Darren was saying, but damn. no, I get it. But that's that, that's up. the point I'm at right now, Darren. I'm <laughs> full on Tom, uh, Tom Hanks and Forrest Gump when he's doing the running across country. <laughs> I told you last time, the last podcast, never sell yourself short, Steve. Ever. <laughs> no, nope, and he's not short. Steve is a tall man. That's very true. Yeah, standing between you and Steve is like. 
I, like an Ewok <laughs> standing in between you know, a couple of that ads. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and the, the photos are very nice. Yeah. For it you, because I'm looking up. Leavingly tall. <laughs> like, you don't realize how tall Dennis is until you stand next to him. Yeah. He's a very subtle tall. If that's even yeah. a freaking that's why description. I, I enjoy having uh, Steve around and hanging out with Steve because I finally get to look someone eye to eye. <laughs> that way you can rest your neck a little bit. Right, yeah. It's very helpful for both Dennis and I yeah. that we don't have to look down and crook our necks. <laughs> we can and just we both have, have normal those bushy, conversations. Those bushy beards too. So it just makes us just look like robust humans. Mm -hmm. We tie them together. <laughs> <laughs> that, Gross. That, that way we're never apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's how tall bearded people interact. <laughs> Tire beards together and look each other in the eye. The beards are actually alive. Oh, they just like reach out like tentacles. Just... You're painting a lovely picture. <laughs> that's how Dennis and Steve share strands of protein with one another. That's yeah. it, man. Well, their long beards. I'm like, Steve, can... you have a vitamin B12 deficiency. Yep. <laughs> it's nutrition. They can, taste, they can taste what each other eat. Oh, was, that, ooh, was that a peanut butter jelly sandwich? Is that ketchup and onions yes. <laughs> all right now the suits are just kind of fucked up <laughs> yeah all right well enough of our beard culture let's talk about beer culture aha <laughs> i like it yeah but uh, as i mentioned at the top of the show uh, since we last talked to couch brewery they've added bobby nacho to their roster of family and beth was always there but she wasn't on the last episode <laughs> no nope. i was i was somewhere else yeah, so I think now's the time to get to know each of you a little bit better and feel free to just share your story as you want to. Bobby and Beth, you can flip a coin. Do as you please. Go first. <laughs> I'll always take Tails. Tails never fails. Never, wait, wait. never, never lets me down. Well, look, it's, it's, <laughs> it's Tails. <laughs> So I just, yeah, yeah, I tell yeah, you a so, about yeah, yeah, so uh, you're the manager of the front of the house. You, you're okay. the person everybody sees when they come in, orders beer. You know, you're the one that gets to deal with everybody. And are you also the procurer of the wonderful prizes for bingo? I am. Okay. I've, got a, I've got a knack for picking out some random shit at your stores. So <laughs> <laughs> I always pick out things and I go, ooh, that's, that's, that's unique. Or what, what could Darren create a story about this item so it's pretty easy pretty easy <laughs> but uh yeah i've known darren for i don't know since like 2004 2005 um when those guys were saying they were looking to start a brewery i said count me in let me know what i can do and yeah, the rest is kind of history now you get to you get to see all their lovely faces every day <laughs> when you're open. <laughs> I do. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure every time. Every what, time. What kind of history did you have with beer, uh, like before getting into a brewery? Um, Were you into drinking, the craft scene? Drinking a lot of it, yeah. Um, so I worked years ago at Sing Sing, which is part of Rock Bottom. Um, mm -hmm. So kind of working in a brewery for a few few years there tasting their beer a lot. Um, but I've just, I kind of got into the, the beer scene. Um, I can't even remember the name of the beer, but it was a McKellar beer. And first time I tasted it, I said, oh, this is delicious. And it was a stout. It was like a Chipotle, chocolate Chipotle stout. And I just mm. kind of kept chasing that flavor and found new mm. things all along the way that I really liked. And yeah, I don't know, just the, the craft beer world. I really enjoy. I love talking to people and, bullshitting and That's i don't know true. beer just kind of brings everyone together i always kind of say it's like the new stamp collecting so instead of collecting stamps you go to different breweries and taste beers and um <laughs> i just try to make everyone's experience at couch brewery awesome and i don't know sometimes it's it's refreshing to just sit and chat with people and i feel like that's you know most breweries that's kind of what it is but i try to keep it you know keep it interesting at couch welcome right everybody <laughs> you do a good job at that for sure. You. And you put it up with me whenever we do, we do a first sip couch brewery bingo. Oh, it's always, it's always fun. I just I know. can't eat beers. It's great. I'm like, you get, you I'm like it just yeah. doesn't stop. I love it. I'll live here. <laughs> just crash on the couch. Yeah. Oh, That's man. it. We, hey, we, Which got, one? we got two pull outs now. We got two pull outs. Nice. So. Yeah. Yeah. That always Heavy works hell, out well. Then Darren yeah. and I hit Taco Bell on the way home, which no, we're that not ain't happening home. again. That is, <laughs> Dude, that is yeah, not going to. Dennis, we can go anywhere else, but we are not going back. <laughs> I love Taco Bell. <laughs> it, it was like 
hey, they were closed. And, you know, when Dennis has a lot of beers in them, oh, hell no, you ain't going to be closed before the list of time. I turned into a black Karen and then I like called him. <laughs> and then I was like, hey, you guys aren't closed. They're like, see, what happened was we ran out of ground beef. How do you run out of ground beef? Don't know. This was then, before quarantine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the before we, times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in yesteryears. And, the uh, yesteryear. The days they were like, of well, York. you know, we ran out of ground beef and we got tired of people yelling at us, so we just closed. I'm like, yeah, well, <laughs> well <laughs> what, what other giving meat? up. Hey, I wish life worked that way. Uh, <laughs> well, what other meats do you got? They're like, we got steak. Me and Darren look at each other like, yeah, we're going to get some steak burritos. We got like three a piece. They, so they reopened opened the drive through <laughs> for you, Dennis. They reopened. They undid the drive through for Dennis. They did. They That's did. what kind of clout he's got. Yeah. They, they must he's have got known. Pull. He's got juice. They're like, hey, or he I was just that drunk, and they knew this guy needs to eat. Guy needs to eat. <laughs> I mean, honestly, could have went either way. I mean, probably Flip that the coin beer again. ones. Flip that coin. <laughs> I've been in Esquire. I've been in Bloomberg. <laughs> I've been in Forbes. You well, they probably knew, that like, four months from then, like we were going to be featured in Forbes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. Fast forward uh, the next day, Darren and I both our tummies were wrecked, and it was it was. <laughs> miserable and uh we're going to try not to do that again um hashtag no promises, promises. <laughs> that's right <laughs> it, you know this this is no knock on taco bell i love taco bell but that night i dropped you off at your house yeah and I, I i barely made it into my door man oh, oh my God. My. photo finish yeah oh no and that's that stuff that stuff's good in a pinch my poor husband had a broken leg out for a week in the hospital, all those painkillers. I said, "Man, I need, I need something to get rid of." I said, "Talk about, I got oh, no. to talk about for you." That's a great idea. Like, it was good. It was good. That oxycotton <laughs> bind up. I thought it was going to be a little bit better, like with the steak. I thought, you know, but shame on me. It's not like you know we didn't go to Ditka's or anything. It was delicious. We ate, we ate three steak burritos a piece. Dude, we crushed it. It yep. was so good. It was so well, good. you so know what bad. else Taco Bell has? Uh -oh, this is Steve's. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Taco Bell has nachos, but we have Bobby Nacho. We have Bobby Nacho. <laughs> so, Bobby, why don't you get into your story a bit and tell us, you know, a little bit how you wound up at Couch. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, Darren just texted me one day and he said, uh, hey, uh, you want to come down and talk with me? I'm like, yeah. Why not? Um, you know, I, I, I haven't known the, the couch that long, uh, maybe three years in and out. I, I've known Beth longer than any of them. Um, bang, bang. Bang. <laughs> um, I met Darren the night of the, uh, the trash, trash beer, beer fest. The trash beer night that they had set up. I was one of the first ones to come through their doors to support them. Um, and, we, you know, we, we met and started talking. Um, we've shared some beers over, over the time and when he invited me to come down and said, you know, Hey, can you help us out a little bit? I'm like, wow, heck yeah. I'd, I'd be honored. Um, you know, and I've got to know Carrie a little bit and I've got to know Mike a little bit. And as far as the people, you, you're not going to find better people anywhere. Um, I absolutely love the environment there. It's, you're always going to have fun in the brewery or in the tap room and there's no other tap room anywhere close to what couch has. They, they bring this, this whole welcoming comfort level that there's, there's nothing sterile about it. It is so, so cool. Um, and so when I was given the opportunity to jump on board, I'm like, hell yes, let's do this. Um, and you know, we're just kind of chugging along. I mean, this, uh, this whole COVID thing's kind of stepping on our toes a little bit, but we're going to, we're going to kick its ass and we're going to keep going. Right on. Absolutely. We're down with that. It. Yes. I yeah. just, I just we, want to say a few things about Beth and, and Bobby before we jump on to the next beer. Beth is the face of our business. She, you're there all the time. I mean, people know Beth much more than they know the rest of us. Yeah. And Beth has this knack of knowing people's names where I, I could see someone 50 times forget their name and just like very quietly go, Beth, what's her name? And Beth will go, that's Jim from so-and-so. I'm like, how the hell do you remember this stuff? So without Beth, we would be bankrupt and, and gone. <laughs> she is awesome. No, we have good beer. We'd be okay. Well, we, 
you could get good beer anywhere in the city, but uh, I think our atmosphere sets us apart. And Beth is the key to that atmosphere. And she's the key to, she's the key to the, to, to the whole atmosphere of couch. Like what makes couch couch? You just look at Beth and, and your sister too, Mel, who works for yeah, us Mel. as well. And um, Mel de, or Mel, Beth does all of the hiring for any bartender that we have. And, um, cannot say enough good things about Beth. If you like, if you don't like beer and like really cool mixed drinks, Beth is a fantastic mixologist. And if you, if you don't, if if there's something on our menu that we don't have, you just tell Beth what you like and she will make you something. She's a genius in that way. I I do good if you tell me what you're in the mood to eat. If you can tell me something you're hungry for, I can make you a drink that tastes like it. It's a, yeah. It's a very <laughs> weird talent, but Beth yeah. and Beth makes <laughs> drinks that taste like food. It's like Taco Ooh. Bell. She goes yeah. outside yeah. and gets yeah. some muddy water. When we had the basil, like, when we had the basil beer, oh, I made a, a beer that just or like a cocktail out of the beer that tastes like a slice of pizza. It's so good. Nice. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. yeah. If so you want a pepperoni or margarita pizza, I could I could help you. So here's a Ooh. question. Are are you guys able to do to go cocktails? Uh, now that it's allowed in the state of Pennsylvania? We, I, I believe we are, right? But we just, we haven't. Okay. I don't know. You I don't want anyone could. to like, get a drink home that, you know, the time you're supposed to be driving and not drinking your alcohol. I don't I mean, want it to like, be watered it down. You can't really like, could you, you can't, even if they got beer to go, you can't control if they're going to drink it in their car. Yeah. Like if they're going mm-hmm. to do that, hopefully just that stop signs. I just um, think it's hard to be like, here's a rum and coke. <laughs> By the time you get it home, it's just going to taste watered down. Like you have, you know, like you've been talking for 20 minutes and haven't drank your, your drink. Right. But mm-hmm. if we had like some slushies, I would, I would probably do that. But, um, there has to be some way. Like add your own, own ice maybe. What's that? Yeah. Do it like add your own ice at home or, yeah. oh, you know, true. something, do something yeah. like that. Oh, that's my jam would be really good. Take it home. Mm. Oh, yes. Ooh. All right. If you're ever there on a day where Beth is making like strawberry, like she'll do this experiment. Like I'm going to make a pumpkin pie cocktail or strawberry shortcake cocktail, or I'm going to make a cocktail that tastes like a piece of birthday cake. It, yeah. It's great just to be down there, like, ooh, and just try them. And none of them, you'll be like, oh, that sucks. They'll, they'll be all like, oh, yeah, you should make that more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> add, that to the list. That more. add that to the list. Well, we have an awesome regular Mary that will just walk in and go, I don't, I just make me something. And I'll just say, what do you want? Something you like dessert, something sweet, something fruity. She's like, she'll name something and I'll make it for her. And she's just, she's happy as a clam. She's just, <laughs> wait, you're talking about Mary, Mary? Split. Mary, Mary, yeah. Uh, Mary. She's such a wonderful person. Yeah, and she's I, one I of the try to make people. something different every time for her, and and she enjoys. So. Yeah, Mary's husband drinks the beer, and Mary and drinks the cocktails. Well, she likes <laughs> seltzers now too. So. Oh yeah, seltzers are her big thing. Seltzers. So, yeah. But with with Bobby, uh, met Bobby at Trash Beer Night, and uh, he invited me down. He was working at another place. And he invited me down to his brewery and we were talking and he was, he was like, um, we were just talking business. And I saw that this guy was very invested in this business and he cared a lot. And then I asked Bobby, I said, well, how much of this business do you own? And Bobby said, I don't own any of it. I just work here. And I'm like, man, if I could find a guy who cares that much. And then I heard that Bobby was available, and I was like, oh, shit, I, I got to get him. Get him. <laughs> I get him. Because I loved his beard. I'm like, well, I, I just got to get Bobby, man. That's awesome. So, He's such a good guy. And now you have him. You've been together for a few months. It's going good. Relationships well. You guys thinking about yeah. going steady? The jury passed well, the Well, you know, Dennis, I don't, wanna, I don't want to step on your toes room. or anything. <laughs> oh, no. We're totally open. You know, we slide some uh, the real it's, Darren Galian on this. That's is, okay. is, is it like the Will Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith thing I read about today? <laughs> Ooh, I have to read about that. I haven't had a gossip magazine in a while. Oh, DailyMail.uk. I, I, I read it every day. <laughs> but no, it's, it it's been great Daily since Mail? Bobby's been here. Um, he, he's got a ton of ideas, and we can bounce ideas off of him. And uh, there's a. Bobby tried a new drink, a new non-alcoholic drink the other day that he seemed to like. Don't say what it is, Bobby. Yeah, I'm not saying but there's a pound of it coming your way. Text it. There's, Tell me what there's, it is. There's, there's a pound of it coming your way to do some test batches with. That doesn't sound like a drink if it comes in a pound. 
<laughs> no, no. <laughs> Kilos are other stuff. Kilo, yeah. Ingredients oh. come in pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought we were okay. 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 All right. All right. <laughs> what kind of show what kind of show is this? <laughs> it's a whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Deal. Good. Are Good. are we allowed to swear on this show? Of course you are. Yeah, I've been swearing oh, the whole time. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> have I not been swearing? Well, oh, you have, Steve. Darren's oh. surrounded by children, so I get it. I get him asking. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to cuss in front by... of Darren's kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, they're Bob's very... probably an asshole anyway. <laughs> they're, they're very wholesome. My uh, my children are. <laughs> your children's right on well let's go back to bobby one of bobby's ideas that you were talking about in the f1 hazy ipa what did everybody think about this beer i enjoyed it thoroughly it's full of flavor it reminds me a little bit of a west coast but you know it doesn't have that clarity it, it, but it also isn't you know juice so i'm good with that so it says it's a it's a, uh in the middle would we call it just like a flyover ipa yeah, it could be a flyover or a mountain style. I forget the names of them, but you know, who knows? I like flyover. We're going to adopt that maybe. <laughs> it's a flyover. We could change it to like race over. Ooh. 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 Ooh I like it. It's a race over in. IPA. It's Lock a, that in. It's a great pit stop beer. Ooh. Like Nailed those. it. Nailed it. <laughs> and this is how we come up with shit. I'll say something and yeah. Darren will say something and. Eventually, we'll end up on, on point, but we just kind of throw things at each other. Nice. <laughs> now, I so thought it I'll, was really good. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll agree with that. Uh, for, the, for the hazy IPA, uh, it, Bobby, you were right on point in saying that this is the type of IPA that will get the non-IPA drinkers to, mm -hmm. to finish their glass, because I'm one of them. I'll say it. And I went back for more. Right. That says a lot right there. They and and Steve and Dennis will attest to me not going back for more on a lot oh, yeah. of IPAs on the show. <laughs> we so, got him one some more. No, I'm no, no. <laughs> you guys go ahead. But uh but no, I went and uh, refilled the glass. So that right there is that says it all. Right on. I think Couch does a really good job with IPAs in that sense where it gets people to want to at least try it. I'll at least talk them into them. Like, we'll just take a little taste, give it a whirl because it's not, it's not super hoppy. It doesn't have that bite that you're like, Ooh, I don't, I don't want any more. I think it's a nice, it's a nice way to try the beer down at Couch, yes. at least for, for IPAs for sure. And, and one of the terms that we have used on the show is kind of a, a gateway beer. Yes. This is kind of a gateway into the IPAs. If somebody is wants to, wants to try to lean into that side of beers, I think this would be an excellent beer for, for them to start out with to kind of push them down that path and that's, yeah. that's that's kind of where we were aiming and it's, it's just something that you know if, if, if you're a true hophead it, you're going to be like oh this is not for me though i'm disappointed mm -hmm. but for for the people that come to catch our clientele this is where most of them want to be they, they, they've got a comfort level they like ipas they like other things that aren't as hoppy so this is kind of meets them in the middle right yeah, it's not going to blow your palate up or anything like that. So, yeah, which is good because this is the first of three beers we got on right. the show. <laughs> and the next beer coming up, it, you're going to need your palate for it because it's got a little bit going on. So, yes. we'll all take a break and then we'll come back with that second beer. See you in a minute. Oh yeah. Welcome back to segment two of episode 160, that's 160, of the Hop Nation USA podcast. And we're joined by the crew at Couch Brewery. We also have Couch Beers. And with a Couch Beer comes a Darren to explain what a Couch Beer is. Or oh, yeah. a Beth or a it's, Bobby Nacho if they a, want to. With Darren's shirt options. on? Yes, Darren's with every shirt beer. Back on? It is back on. Darren's shirt is on, but Jeff Goldblum's shirt is off. You can see these it, no, things the on the of YouTube. Just the talk of me. I should have did this in a Bobby, go ahead. It didn't look like I had a talk. Tell them about F3 or F2. Oh. <laughs> Darren straight up delegated that like a <laughs> boss. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here with Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> I'm just going to watch you with Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> so this F2, um, you know, this is something that was fun to do. Um, we decided to take our uh, atomic clock recipe and play with it a little bit. And uh, we kind of made it a little maltier and a little bit less hoppy. And then we uh, 
Also with that cinnamon toasted cereal um, that everybody loves to have for breakfast. Um, just something that was off the wall and something unique and you know, it was just something we wanted to do, and I think it came out all right. I, um, I'm happy with it. We forgot to do the rim jobs on it. We forgot to do, oh, forgot yeah. to do the rim jobs. I never forget the rim jobs. Come on. <laughs> so if you, Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. So you're saying if you could buy this at the brewery, uh, you would get a nice cinnamon rim job with it? You Cinnamon sugar, baby. And nice. if you take it home, you certainly should do a little cinnamon sugar on it. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> I, think it, I, think, I really think it's sweet enough without it. Um, it's just, you know, it's the experience of it. Yeah. It, it is very sweet. And it, it's very much like a malty amber, you know, because yeah. that's the style. But I think it's on the back end that you really get the cereal uh, flavors out of it. Yeah, don't don't ruin it. I'm playing the role of Dennis on this one. I'm way behind. The I time. always <laughs> wait, man. I always wait to where, you know, we talk about it and we get ready. I want to be surprised. I don't want to hear all the explanation, Beth. That was very aggressive. I don't want to hear all the explanation and then be, you know, and I have already drank it. So I do it right in time. Yeah, I'm right there with you, Dennis. We used, a, we used a lot oh of that God. cereal in that beer. That smells good. It was all over the brewery. Everywhere. Oh, it, 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 there's just so much aroma of that uh, cinnamon toast crunch. Like it is, like I lit a cinnamon toast crunch candle or put gasoline inside of a bowl Ooh. of cinnamon toast crunch and lit it. Don't say, "Well, that's dangerous." Don't do that. <laughs> I mean, boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> Would you pour that over your bowl of cereal in the morning, Dennis? Oh my god, that is good. <laughs> Right? Jesus. I'm going to make some bad decisions tonight. <laughs> oh, there's something new. Dennis and bad decisions. <laughs> bad decisions. Oh, no. That is that, <clears throat> that is on point. That is everything I wanted. I know we're not like going over descriptions out of this beer, but it is. <laughs> is Why not? It's fine yeah. as long as you're enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Bobby, do you know the livery on this one, or should we give it to Darren, or can Adam just guess it? Oh, I already know it. Okay. Well, yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to guess. I didn't, I didn't mean to say guess. Like I, I should have known that you already knew it. I, sh I shouldn't have said that. That's all right. We're still friends. No, I, it's my bad. I shouldn't undersell you. <laughs> the, the livery and Dennis's reaction, by the way, was the reaction we were shooting for mm -hmm. whenever you drink this beer. Gasoline. You don't have to explain anything about the beer. We just liked Dennis's almost orgasmic reaction. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say almost, Darren. Almost. <laughs> a, little pre, a little pre came out. <laughs> what kind of milk is going in that cereal? Um, orga organic, for sure. Organic. Definitely organic. Is that, is that oat milk yeah. or almond milk? <laughs> oh, it's oat milk, baby. It's oat so milk. floppy. Oh. Mm. Oh. It's all no nut milk? <laughs> no. Nut <laughs> milk. But, but Adam yes, can correct me milk. if I'm oh. wrong on this. But the research that I did on this livery, this is from the, I always get these, uh, the, the UOP car from like the mid 70s. So it's got like a total freaking 70s stripe on it. Um, the sponsor was Champion Spark Plugs. We took their logo and threw couch right in the middle of it, made it beautiful. Uh, we copied their, uh, their actual font from that car and the ctc on it is the couch toast crunch amber l nice so i was actually 100 percent way off <laughs> right on oh well what were you i mean <laughs> so i thought you were going for a mid 80s toyota off-road from ivan the iron man stewart dude so i never knew that that car existed until now because all i did was like research uh, 60s and 70s Formula One cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I as soon as I saw that, my mind immediately went to mid 80s Toyota, like the stadium trucks. Mm. That's, well, that that's might be another cool. series of cans one day. Oh, <laughs> <Stadium> <laughs> jam. So I just want to throw this out there. Um, number one, I love like the the series, the artwork, all the thought that you guys put into them. Uh, but I just wanted to comment on earlier. You said Dennis. 
a couch brewery we're above board and then every description of these cans yeah we took their logo put a name on it <laughs> Correct. that's different dennis i'm not lying about where we got that from yeah he said he said they did it <laughs> we do bad stuff but we tell people about it <laughs> no, no it's great it's awesome i just i didn't want to pass up the opportunity to say something what i thought was funny <laughs> Well, now I feel horrible, Dennis. No, you shouldn't feel. <laughs> you shouldn't feel anything except glee um, or yourself. and happy or yourself. Oh. Two hands don't hurt your back. <laughs> but, I, I don't know where to go from here. I'll be honest. I told yeah. you I'm, I'm so inappropriate. That's all. Where to go but up? <laughs> <laughs> you can go down if you want, but it's easier to go. Oh, up. you're down there. <laughs> Steve, ran us back in. <laughs> Rope us in, Steve. Hold on, Steve, I was I was Steve's drinking. Typically beer. good at segues, but I don't know how you make a. Se- Speaking about going down, how does beer go down? <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that. That's actually not a bad one, Dennis. You're oh. learning from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it actually went down pretty well. I'm I'm not the biggest fan of amber ales. They're the that's my that's one of my styles that I don't particularly love, but I did get a lot of the cinnamon flavor on it, and I'll say on the burp ups, it's a lot of cereal burp ups, mm-hmm. so I'm into that. But <laughs> <laughs> that's like a category on Pornhub cereal burp ups. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm oh. into it. <laughs> Mind you, of Saturday morning cartoon watching yeah. cereal burp ups. It's true. Feed is broke. Cereal burp. <laughs> very nostalgic burp ups. <laughs> Going, going back to Dennis's uh, full disclosure, Dennis, I had never tasted Cinnamon Toast Crunch until we brewed this beer. There's no, no way. way. Wow. No. There is a way. There is a way. You just not like sugary cereals? Do you no, like cinnamon? My, I, I, I absolutely did. But uh, my mother was a very stern woman. Mm. And the sweetest we could get was like Apple Jacks and... Fruit Loops. She, no, she sounds like a good mom because diabetes and childhood obesity is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. But now tasting it, because we had a couple of uh, boxes whenever we were filming our little videos and stuff, and I sat there. You might as well just put a strap on it. It was like a feed bag. Oh, I just kept just shoving oh these God. things in my mouth. Yeah, you, you, your body never experienced it. It's a crazy no, totally, cereal. You got to catch up. Yeah, I totally missed out on it in my childhood. You and, caught uh, up your whole childhood in one day. <laughs> and, then, and, you know, now I'm going to have a real sit down. Oh, is that resentment? My, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a real sit down with my mother and find out why my childhood was uh, so awful. <laughs> Dennis is ass, uh, Darren's ass Wait. is going to blow off when he finds out about Lucky Charms. <laughs> or Cookie Crisp. Oh, dude, dude, <laughs> never was a fan. Never was See? a fan of Lucky Charms. Oh. Um, is it the marshmallows? Oh. It's that Irish marshmallow? guy on it. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I get that. It's just straight up prejudice, guys. Creeps yeah. you out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Irish need not apply. Yeah. <laughs> not Irish. No. Oh, that's no, no, no. It, it, I, I, was, uh, I was never a Lucky Charms guy, but uh, we had a bingo one night where the, the prize was, it was like a 10-pound bag of Lucky Charms uh, marshmallows. Mm. And oh, Adam just and the Lord, marshmallows. Yeah, just, just the, the marshmallows. How did you get a hold of Beth? Where'd you find that? Darren got that. I got all the other shit. Darren no, I'm not giving that. it up. God. I'm not giving it up. <laughs> don't, don't give up your sources. No, dude. We find all kinds of I know a few leprechauns. Cool I know Amazon. a few leprechauns. <laughs> but uh, that's how we met Adam and Lori from Bash Brew. Mm. Oh, right on. They won the grand prize, and they, they, they brewed a beer with it. That is awesome. At least you know it went to like actually doing something, not eating it on the couch, like super depressed or anything like yeah. that. Hey, what's wrong oh, with that? It was delicious. They brought Mike. us in a bottle. <laughs> I didn't say there was something wrong with it. I just gave a scenario that might be applicable to some people. Crying, said- <laughs> watching Bridget Jones' diary. You're trying to say eating a eating the bag is worse than brewing a beer with it, and I don't appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> well, no, 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 not just any bag. We're talking about a ten pound bag of just the marshmallows. Yeah. there is a difference. Yeah. You can get it up into one hundred pound bags if you wanted to. That is crazy. Yeah. Like how does that? Oh. oh man, no, that's a segue. Uh, hey, I'm cat. not going to get on that train. <laughs> oh, look, segue doesn't make it's trains. Bruce. It's Bruce. <laughs> That is the fifth cat to be on this show? That is a weird statistic to know so quickly off the top of your head. <laughs> it's been happening in the past couple months. Yeah. We've only How had many a few chickens, cats. though? How many chickens? No chickens. No chickens, uh, one dog. 
One dog we had tonight. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. I thought Porter jumped on it somehow. No. I can go grab a chicken if you want. Ooh, that was a gunshot. Oh, fun. Or firework. It doesn't matter. How many turtles? <laughs> That's a gunshot. I live behind a shooting range. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. I just live near assholes. Who I moved those. out of the hood and then behind a shooting range. <laughs> So we're talking with Couch, and obviously we're in the middle of this quarantine that's going on, and you guys are actually the first brewery that we've been able to talk to during the quarantine. In general, I mean, everything screwed up our plans for breweries that we were going to talk to, and we didn't uh, chase interviews because we figured everybody was busy reacclimating to how you know their business was going to run. Uh, but I think we're sort of in some sort of space of how we know the next couple months are going to go. And uh, I just wanted to check in, you know, we're, we're going to be checking in with breweries, but you guys are the first, uh, you know, how are things going? How are you guys, you know, surviving? Obviously just, you are. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just it. We, we are surviving. We're not thriving like we were. Um, this sucks for breweries, especially. And it sucks for the clients of breweries, people who like to go to breweries we were very diligent with the social distancing. We removed half of our seating. Um, we set it up so that there was no cross contamination. And if someone left the table, you know, we wouldn't sit anybody down until that was completely sanitized and all that good stuff. And we were doing very well. And our clientele was doing excellent, man. I mean, everyone who was coming to the brewery, knew what the deal was and everybody was okay with it. And, you know, last week the numbers started going up and then you started seeing pictures from other bars and some restaurants that completely flaunted all of those rules. And so it, it really pisses off businesses like ours who did follow the rules. You know, every, everyone's saying, well, we're getting treated like children. Well, we absolutely should because we're acting like children. Mm -hmm. You know, we're the only country in the world that has politicized these masks and social distancing for whatever reason. I don't know, but if we were, if 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 we were going on the tra trajectory that we were, we would be closer to opening up full time like they are in Italy than reverting back to lockdown like we are here. Yeah. So. That's my complaint about the whole thing. So it's very frustrating owning a business and running a business. And plus our customers are our friends, man. You know, we miss our friends. We miss interacting with them. It's weird running into Dennis and not hugging. Give me yeah. that <laughs> We're just you like know. kicking feet and that's just yeah, and that's, a whole it's, another <laughs> euphemism. Air, air high fives. Air, air, high, five air and high fives and air hugs. I had to hugs. take high fives off the menu. Those used to be on the menu. They uh -huh. were on your bill if you got one. Yeah. <laughs> So that part of it sucks, Steve, you know, um, and you got to do what you got to do. No amount of complaining that us or anybody else is going to do is going to alleviate this virus. Follow the damn rules. Stay spaced away from people that is proven to work. And, uh, you know, the sooner we get through this, the sooner we can get back to normal. Mm -hmm. And I think the, I think the craft beer community and the breweries were doing the the right things. We, we all were. Want, we, we're all small yeah. businesses. Everybody wants everything to succeed and get back to normal. But right, I think the breweries. It's a different. It's a different entity. I think the breweries yeah. were all doing what they should be doing. And Unfortunately, yeah, it, everyone else doing what they're not supposed to affects all of us. I think it was definitely like the. I don't want to say seedy like bars but you know you know the bars that we're talking about it's the ones that you would expect to have you know 150 percent capacity mm -hmm. in there with right. no masks on right. and i don't think legislation can specifically target those places or at least they didn't really know how to do it without there being some type of discrimination going out there a specific segment of um you know the business sector so instead they just punish everyone mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think the shame is that it did happen and like, you know, there is evidence of which bars it did happen at and the fact that they those bars are getting away without the punishment when there are breweries and, you know, as Beth said, the major I would say the majority of 
Pittsburgh breweries were following those rules and guidelines. I can't speak to the entire nation. I'm sure there are some bad actors out there, but you know, the fact that all of these businesses now get hosed because of the party bars on the South side in right. Lawrenceville in Bloomfield it's in the strip district. And yeah. in the strip, you know, because of those bars, everybody gets hosed in the, in the County and that sucks. And you know, it's, I, it, I think Darren's point is the exact point that should be getting out there that you have to just do the right thing. It's not a political right. thing. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the, the virus doesn't care what side or color you vote. Right. You're, <laughs> it'll get you and it'll right. get your family. <laughs> no fucks. If you're not, yep. you know, if you F1. don't just wear a mask and behave. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I definitely agree with that hundred percent. And you know, the, the, the funny thing is right. Like with all these new legislation and rules put in place, the people that were already following them, they're going to listen to the new legislation. Yeah. I bet the folks that ruined it for everybody are still going to be open right. behind the scenes. Maybe they don't turn on the open light, but I right. guarantee you there's still mm-hmm. going to be some CD stuff going right. on. Yeah. For so, sure. What, was there any advance notice given by the county uh, about these new regulations coming in, or did everybody just find out at the one seventy two hours at the same maybe time? like before it kicked in? I think I think yeah. what they did they posted it on like Friday or Saturday, and you had to till Tuesday to comply. Yeah, it went into effect Sunday. on the thirtieth. Hmm. I know yeah. Sunday. I got a I got a message from my husband and my sister at the same time, just as we were about to close, and the I told a couple people that were left in the brewery, hey, you know. Hit what you have to do on your way home, get your beers, but by yeah, by Tuesday, you're going to be right. shit out of luck, so to speak. No, so. again, this is just Allegheny County, right? right. Like, so mm-hmm. at least on the state level, they're kind of, you know, leaving it up to the counties to be proactive. I guess that's one good thing about the county in which we all reside that it wants to be proactive. Because there's some that might get, uh, we're just rocket to the wheels fall off, which might not be good. Well, today the state came out and you were required to, and we were talking about this during the break, you're required to wear a mask out in public now, you know, if you can't social distance. So that's what we're down to. Like the, it was a suggestion before, please do this to stop the spread of this. Now it's being mandated, you know, and. Uh, it, it's kind of the right thing to do though. Cause yeah. we've already seen, I mean, Pittsburgh was in Pennsylvania, you got two big cities, Pittsburgh and Philly. And Philly wasn't scheduled to reopen itself the way Pittsburgh did until July 11th. Mm -hmm. So the fact that they already saw Pittsburgh get rowdy and misbehave like the children that, you know, like the bad children that are out there, they can already see it. So good. Yeah. We're, we're, I mean, as a state, we're generally doing better than everybody else. Mm -hmm. But when Philly reopens, you can't have them being rowdy like that because Philly is the, is the major populous center. Mm-hmm. so yeah you just can't have it happen so yeah call it early before philly right. gets a chance to fucking be rowdy i get it, it like, it's a complex issue right like you, you know it, from a Is national it, standpoint, it's wear a you, mask dennis no no i get it see, but what i'm saying <laughs> I'm, sorry, just, what I'm saying is I'm sorry, from a, a, a being a human issue like being on lockdown for so long everyone just wanted to rush out and a lot of people are just so entitled nowadays like it leads them down to irrational thinking. You know, Mm -hmm. when you're at restaurants and the health department says, all right, employees, you must wash your hands. You must um, clean utensils. You must do A, B, and C. And from a consumer standpoint, everyone's like, yes, that's great. Do it. But as soon as they tell like the general populace, no, these things you have to do, all of a sudden we think people are trying to take our guns and, and it just gets, it just gets silly. People just need to take a step back. And then think logically yeah. and then react instead of listening to whatever clickbait or whatever, um, you know, a, a raging podcast or, or YouTube video, because now you're an expert, right? Cause you've consumed five hours of YouTube videos and, right. and you're, you're more knowledgeable than the CDC. I, yeah. don't know. I just think it's a lack, <laughs> lack of um, logical thinking. It, it's a lack of logical thinking. It's, too much wrong information and it's too much that we've been conditioned for instant gratification. So like you said, when, when things get reopened, everybody wants to rush out to get that instant gratification that they're used to rather than just hanging back and saying, eh, you know, I don't need it. 
I've done without it for the past couple months. I don't need it. I, yeah. So speaking of reopening, is there anything uh, at Couch that you guys have learned from from the pandemic or anything that you're going to change that you're going to keep going forward uh, in terms of you know, brewing practices or delivery or anything like that? Is there anything that you guys have done out of necessity uh, but are now going to kind of keep as a policy going forward and find out well, it, it turned out I mean, really it, nice? That's, that's the big one. This, this online sales, you know, Whenever this first hit, the the state allowed everyone to sell online. That has kept us alive, you know. And and I I hope that we are still allowed to sell online afterward, you know. Whenever we go fully green, I would love for that to always be an option. Um, I would like to us for us to start shipping our beer. There's logistics stuff behind that. All of our beer needs to be refrigerated. It's not shelf stable. And um, looking into that, I'm looking into distributing our beer more in a more serious uh, way, not just locally, but across state lines. So um, in a way, this has given us a lot of time to think about things. Because mm -hmm. before we were just like, got to brew beer, got to do this, got to come and clean the fermenters, you know, got to move beer, got to can beer. And you were almost like robotic in your thinking. Mm -hmm. Now this is like gave us a little bit of time to just like, all right, what do we really want to do and, and how do we want to do it? Because before we really didn't have the time to just just take a breath and think about it. You know, uh, me and my two partners all have full time jobs. Uh, Bobby came on right whenever all of this started. I think Bobby like it was like two weeks or a month and then boom, COVID hit. So um, we are down to brewing half batches of beer. We don't do full runs of beer. So now it's like a lot of cool experimentation that we are doing half batches because um, we're not going through the beer like we were before. So this gives us a good time to let's do just some really crazy stuff. And CTC was one of them. There's another one coming out that Bobby came up with um, very shortly. Um, we went bananas with the hard seltzers and those will be rolling out shortly. So just a lot of like, it, it really has expanded our, um, repertoire, artistic palette. repertoire. Mm -hmm. thank For, you so much. Portfolio, Yes. Yeah. I'm not a good public speaker. <laughs> no, I can't you're think of no, you're a good, no, you're a good public speaker, but Hey, having a good 50 cent word behind you also helps. <laughs> oh yeah. Makes, makes, makes you sound smart. But yeah, I mean, those are some of the things, um, you know, we're going to make some changes to the front of house and me and Beth have already talked about that. And, and, and mainly that's just like bingo, what we're going to do different for bingo. Oh, I miss bingo. bingo oh so yeah. Fun. But like, I definitely miss it. We, we want to make I miss that 69. even more this, fun, you know? <laughs> so we want to, we want to take our bingo and like our fun part of the brewery up a couple notches and that's so. that's what people are going to need wait, wait, wait. after all this they're going to need a, something to just kind of step away from everything else and just go and sit down and have a good time so when bingo comes back it's going to be how it's do gonna you make a good time. brewery more fun i don't understand like <laughs> just you wait like free <laughs> drugs at the door like everyone Ooh. tries molly <laughs> like, well i can tell you what's not going to happen dennis i won't be shirtless <laughs> mm, that's unfortunate. I remember a time <laughs> during first sip couch brewery bingo where the crowd rooted and cheered for me to lift up my shirt and, and you did a little it. nip back. Yeah. Of course, you gotta give the people what they want. I'm not a monster. Yeah, you have He's it. a salesman. <laughs> I'm like, see, Dennis, no, I don't give it away for right? free like you do. <laughs> Valentine's oh, no. bingo is the best when you Coincidentally, win we got some got subscribers that night, so <laughs> that was kind of weird. I felt like that was like a first sip, like OnlyFans mm. account in mm. person. Welcome to my world. <laughs> no, but, like, like Beth came up with some awesome ideas for what we can do for bingo, and we're going to implement that, and uh, uh, bingo is going to be much different in a very very good way it's still going to be the same mm -hmm. but it's going to get amplified five or ten times i'm excited and still bring oh, back damn. drag queen bingo drag oh yeah bingo. drag queen's oh, that, still definitely going to come staple. back people love that that was our last bingo right the drag queen bingo was that was yeah we went at least we went out with a bang oh man <laughs> we went out with a bang we did we did there's always a bang at brewery 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, for those who don't know and who haven't listened to, you know, episode 114 and uh, who, you know, haven't been to Couch yet, Couch is one of the best spaces as far as breweries go in Pittsburgh because it's completely unique. It didn't come out of a box. It's very comfortable. Right. It's got all this space. It's got the bingo board. It's got the bingo games rolling. And obviously, uh, you know, as Beth had said in the first segment, it's also got pizza cocktails sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Last time we had the parks, it was the Pittsburgh Parks Department grew us our basil. I don't know if we're going to. Oh, that that's basil. awesome. Yeah, oh, we paired cool. up with those guys. We uh, went to their, it was like in the park after dark up at Frick Park and we did a special beer for them. So, yeah, that's I don't know awesome. if we'll be able to get, to get to do something like that this year, though. Yeah. Uh, along the same lines as what Adam was asking, though, uh, and you're talking online sales, has this done anything to bring in customers that you haven't had before? Because I know my own beer buying has changed a bit because I'm not sitting down at breweries anymore. Right. I'm just kind of stopping at a couple spots and then loading up. So, like, have you become a load up spot now? Like, <laughs> people just making a tour? <laughs> I feel yeah, like we've so. had a lot of random people come in, but when we see like the list of people um, for orders, I can recognize probably 80% of the names as regulars that come in. Um, we have a lot of people that will kind of just show up and be like, oh, are you guys selling? Can we buy? And we just tell them, you know, hey, it's all online. Just hang out in your car, order online, and we'll bring it right out to you. So, nice. But I think we get a lot of, we get a lot of repeat um, people buying full cases. We have a couple guys that come in probably once a week that came every week, bought, you know, at least two, four packs. So mm. I think we had a lot of regulars um, that were, that were supporting us on that. That's who, awesome. Who was it Patty or, or Pam from uh, Maryland? She oh, came Peg. in and Peg. Peg. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't get into the city that much. And she just bought a whole bunch of cases of beer and Damn. put it in her car. And she went back to Maryland with it. So. She actually, <laughs> she, actually awesome. yeah. she actually had three, four packs bought in advance she did the last bob ross class and said when we had made the next i think it was the batch of um sofa Kimondo. when we made it she wanted that but we haven't made it so she just said well give me credit towards whatever else so i think she yeah i think she ended up between her and her husband bought like six four packs of beer more actually probably more than that wow about it. that's yeah, it awesome was a, it was a couple yeah. cases they took out with them so yeah but we have a, another couple guys like i said they one won, I think it was a hundred dollar gift card through work towards any um, any craft beer. So he he chose us and and got a full case of beer plus Damn. I think maybe a growler or two. But um, so yeah, we've got we've got some really awesome regulars. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it's good to hear that at least you know that is still jumping for you and you're yeah. you know, able to sell beer online. I really do hope that sticks around for everybody because yeah, that is should. so yeah. nice. So too, yeah. It's just the future of how yeah. things evolve. Yeah. Like, it has so to nice. It's so good for it's yeah. so good for like releases too. Oh yeah, well, and of, then okay. oh, go, no, go ahead, Beth. I was gonna say, think of like restaurants and like something like Chipotle where you can order online, just run in, mm. pick it up, and go. If you can do that at breweries when you're not in the mood to just go sit down and have a beer, but you want to take beer home, you want you know, take beer to an, a, you know, a party or something that weekend, but you don't have time to sit and drink. It is very convenient. Mm-hmm. You just kind of grab your beer, go, and, and you know, you're on but, your way. And for me personally, as someone who doesn't like standing in lines. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It changes uh, for, the game. Yeah. I, I don't like standing in can release lines, I'll admit. I, ab- I abhor can release lines. <laughs> I, I do. <laughs> I was in the Army, and no matter what line I stood in, Line to go to a movie, you know, a, a line for anything. The length of that line was never worth that. That yeah. reward was never mm-hmm. worth it at the end. Yep. So yeah. we we like to be very uh, democratic, and uh, everybody gets like we release beer on a day that everybody is available to go do. Like we don't release it during the work week, during work hours and stuff. So. Um, so yeah, I think if we could be able to stay online, everything would be released online as well. Yeah. So Good. everybody has a fair shot at it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, and I like that the best as well. Cause I've, since my twenties, I've said lines are for stupid people. And now that I'm <laughs> 35, that's the most Steve thing I've ever yeah, heard. They are. I've cut, I cut <laughs> lines all the time. I'm an asshole. I don't care. <laughs> well, you know, and sometimes it's, it's nice to be a regular and, and be like, Hey, when's that beer coming out? Can you right. back a <laughs> Right. 
<laughs> Sorry, Darren. I'll do it if somebody wants it. And they, right. you know. and, and the other thing is now that we're in our thirties, the problem is bridges and tunnels. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to run bridges and tunnels. I don't want to stand in lines. <laughs> so if I, if I could get that, you know, if I can order that online and pick it up at 245, great. Everybody wins. Yeah. If you order it and you can pick it up a week later, that's fine. You've ordered it. You've paid for it. It's there. Right. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Did Dennis just leave? Yeah, he just left. So, oh, all right. Yeah. 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 Uh, so the one last thing I wanted to bring up before we get out of this segment and head into the next one is uh, obviously you got, we've talked about it in the past two episodes, but now that you're here as well, we'll talk about it again. Uh, Darren uh, Couch and Abjuration are teaming up with First Up Brewbox to do a Black is Brew. Ugh, of course, I stammered my way through it like it an idiot. Horrible. Yeah, <laughs> a black is beautiful collaboration. That the the initiative that was started by Weathered Souls, uh, but is going across the country, and it is to support uh, education in like copy training as well as supporting uh, helping people pay for legal fees. Uh, so tell us a little bit about getting involved with that. And what your plans are for the beer? Um, well, Bobby can jump in on, on our plans for the beer. Uh, we had a Zoom call. Was it last Sunday, Bobby, with us, Dennis, and Abjuration? I can't remember when. But it, it um, <clears throat> we are going to change up the recipe a little bit. But um, we wanted to get involved with this from the very beginning. However, I wanted to make sure that it was 100% legitimate, that this wasn't some kind of virtue signaling thing you know that that it wasn't like um oh hey here's a tragedy um we're gonna have uh we're gonna use this toward our advantage um i saw so many people during um the the the, the horrible tragedy of the jewish center in scroll hill being shot up hey 10 percent of our sales today are going to go toward the jewish community center and that kind of sickened me a little bit. I didn't like that, that, that they were using this tragedy like to almost promote a sale. And um, I did not want that at all to be um, part of this. I, I, I wanted it to be 100% legit. Our voice is not important at this time. Other more important voices need to be heard. So 100% of the proceeds of this beer are going to go toward um, Dennis found a, a wonderful charity. However, he can't accept uh, due to um, he, he does mental health and he, he doesn't want to uh, part of mental health is people who are alcoholics. So he doesn't want to take any money made from alcohol to, to, to do that. And Dennis can explain that much better than I can. So the, the guy was very, you knew he was a very stand-up guy. So now we got to find another legitimate, very good charity to donate the proceeds. The black is beautiful. And um, I almost want to let just Dennis promote the whole thing, and, and we'll just brew the beer. This isn't about couch. This isn't about abjuration. This is about black is beautiful, and that's it. And, and that's what I want it to be. I, I almost want us to be – not even an afterthought in all of this. We just want to provide a service. That's it. So, and I want Dennis, Dennis spearheaded all of this. Uh, he can, uh, he could do all the promotion. We will do whatever promotion Dennis wants us to do, but it's not going to be, Oh, Hey, couch brewery along with first sip brew box and abjuration of brewing this beer. Uh, Dennis and I had a long phone conversation about this, not, I was very, very adamant about this being completely on the up and up and right. no way. Not appropriating the culture yeah. or anything like yeah. that. And, I, and say I like, wanted to be very appropriate as well, you know. I, I did want to give a shout because I, you know, Bobby Nacho had originally shot me a message because I, I knew of Black is Beautiful. I knew of the national uh, collaboration 
and everything that was going on around the country, uh, I didn't see a whole lot of, uh, you know, Western Pennsylvania or Pennsylvania or Pittsburgh involvement. And then when Bobby Nacho hit me up, hey, man, we're thinking about doing something like this. Uh, number one, did you want to be a part of it? And can you help us do this? And as soon as I saw that, I was like, hell yeah, let's jump in on this. Let's figure this out. Um, but to your point, Darren, you know, that conversation, it was funny because uh, I was literally on my way to the gym. Darren calls me. I'm like, there is no such thing as a short conversation with the Darren Gailey. <laughs> so I try to have short conversations with you. I can't help it. It can't. No, because as soon as we start wrapping up one point, another point pops up and we just keep talking that day. So I did want to thank you for this. You allowed me to figure out how to use my headphones uh, via Bluetooth. Uh, so I can be in the gym working out as we have this conversation. Uh, but it was really great. And that was the biggest thing that Darren wanted to put out there. Like, hey, I didn't want this to be, you know, any type of appropriation of black culture, which you see actually a lot in craft beer. For craft beer not being super diverse from a woman-owned or a person of color-owned uh, industry, you see a lot of appropriation of people using Tupac, Biggie, just anything in the, um, the, the black culture, like being put in beer and for you not seeing a lot of cultural diversity, it is major appropriation. That's not something that Darren wanted. He wanted uh, to be able to give back and, and, you know, stand for a cause and believe in something. And I remember Bobby Nacho hitting me up, like I, the guys from Abjuration, I think it was Tom, right? Bobby Nacho that came down to the brewery and you guys were talking about it. They were like, yeah. And Abjuration is a super small brewery in McKees Rocks, Pennsylvania. And they were like, look, we can't like brew it like production wise. We can, you know, we can only keep up with what we're doing, but we want to be a part of this and we want to help. And we're just doing what we can collectively to really put some good vibes out there. And I just think it's, it, it's uh, maybe coincidental, maybe not coincidental, but as soon as we start talking to people and putting this out there, more and more breweries uh, in and around Pittsburgh are starting to sign on to this. So I'm not saying we were the first, I'm not saying we're the reason why they're doing it, but I'm saying collectively is a good thing. And I did not want, you know, this uh, black is beautiful and everything it stands for to be a flavor of the month um we have to keep this in conversation we have to keep this going uh we can't let all the progress and and change that we have already come about uh just just kind of die off so I, I definitely appreciate you guys really pulling together to make this happen and we're excited to be a part of it and to keep uh keep it going be a catalyst for change right on well said yeah, Ed, that's the most important point is just like let it be what it is and keep right. keep pushing forward. Mm. Like it's, it's not, it, yeah, it, and I mean we've seen collaborations in the past that uh, maybe or maybe not they did the right thing with you know the the campfire and uh, the resistance resilience fire. Yeah, yeah resilience my bad mm -hmm. um, but yeah this isn't just something that you forget about after you've had your beer like there's a reason for it and you should try to educate yourself as much as possible and you know you can enjoy the beer along with it because i'm sure it'll be a good one i mean it, it is a stout and all weather is stout weather so. <laughs> <laughs> we believe that steve I yes. mean, there's surprisingly Here. enough not not enough people love stouts like all year round and they, well, they can get out <laughs> oh, i'm drinking well, you go torch right now <laughs> <laughs> beth is drinking our chocolate coconut stout hey, time out so nice. beth already ran been, through all three beers this. we were having on the show she's on the other other beers all right she's on the other couch Look, beers i hiked today I, I i need my this is my post-workout tradition i'm just saying you're like a superhero I <laughs> she's jumped ahead to other she's jumped ahead to other episodes <laughs> she's drinking but, beers on future episodes yeah. that's that's it. On she got the super but, mario whistle <laughs> on the other worlds <laughs> i don't have any mushrooms though Beth, did you already drink f3 
No, I didn't bring an F3 home yesterday. Uh, oh, oh, no. No. no, I forgot. I forgot my F3. Oh, no. All I have is this beautiful water. I forgot to bring all the beer home. <laughs> oh, no. Look at that. You could, you could see me in the glass. Hey, no, you I should have just said that was the seltzer. Damn it, Darren. I still, Dude, I, I would still never have say it because there's no bubbles in it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I should have brought out my raspberry duvet. I still have my vintage. Jeez. Oh, that raspberry here. duvet was on point. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. I have, uh, I have a, that's a previous I have a episode. <laughs> that is it's still good. I know it's still good. It's just like that's a previous episode. <laughs> it seems <laughs> like that was in the past. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I miss right. raspberry duvet. Let's talk about let's talk about the present. And oh, pre- that was nice. Oh, yeah. that was good. <laughs> and good. the present oh. is the F2, the CTC oh, Crunch Toast Amber Ale. Uh I, I again, I'm not the biggest fan of ambers, so this is kind of, you know, How about a reverse. A uh, <laughs> <laughs> only if it's spelled with an I and she has to put hearts over the I. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, oh you're wild. definitely looking you know like not for a long term commitment if that's how it's spelled. You got oh, it, Hoss. This is going out there. <laughs> likes Mall Tiffany. Like oh, yeah. Tiffany. I think we're alone now. <laughs> whether whether she's at the mall selling phone cases or just looking for them, I'm into that <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> But uh, I'm also kind of into this F2. I don't, again, you know, I don't particularly love Amber Ales, but it does have enough aroma of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and enough flavor. It, like, it's there. It does what you said it was going to do. So there's nothing wrong with that. And it is drinkable. So, yeah, I mean, pushing past my own prejudice of you know, Amber <laughs> Ales, I still like it. So, yeah. You're a hell, like, salesman. hell of a salesman. You sound like me from segment one. I do. That's, yeah. <laughs> well, if Very we learned judicious. anything from all these episodes, everyone has a little Adam in them. Yeah. Ooh. Gross. <laughs> Some more than others. Well, I, never mind. <laughs> and speaking of Adam, I'll talk next. <laughs> Here's Adam. <laughs> So I am a big fan of this beer. Uh, and one thing I was afraid of when I saw that it was going to be a cinnamon toast crunch, I'm sorry, cinnamon toast beer. I don't want to say, and I don't want copyright infringement happening. But Ouch. one thing, yes, it's literally Ouch. called CTC. The one thing <laughs> I was worried about is with all the cinnamon, I was afraid that it was going to turn into basically a pumpkin beer. <laughs> and it did not. It did not. It's its own thing. It stands on its own. I, and I am a big fan of this beer. I'm probably going to have to come down and get some more if there's more available. You better you, order it online. Yeah, order, 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 it order it online. Order it online. <laughs> so that, uh, that's probably going to happen because I'm a big fan of this beer. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Him yeah, th- this one's a winner. Check plus. <laughs> well, I guess moving on to me, Dennis, the main man guy. Uh, so looking at this F2 CTC, it <laughs> – so it, – Kind of what Adam was saying, initially I was like, man, this might be really sweet, which I wouldn't be totally against because I love everything about Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's actually one of my favorite uh, cereals growing up watching Scooby-Doo, Tom and Jerry, all the good, uh, you know, maybe dipping in some Cartoon Network. Um, If I'm having a late night bowl of cereal, I might be watching some Inuasha, Cowboy Bebop, some really good fun fun stuff there. Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, meat lord. It's the honey, G. <laughs> oh, Shake Zula, the Mike Rula. <laughs> yeah, none of this man is. <laughs> um, but it, super phenomenal beer. And like I said, I thought it was going to be too sweet. You guys nailed it. Uh, it is a good hybrid of being multi up front. You get the, the on the nose, you get the cinnamon toast crunch. Uh, on the back end, you get it. You get that meaty, bready cereal taste, uh, but it's not overpowering because traditionally breweries that have attempted beers like this, I can have one. It's good. If I have more than one, I feel like I need to check my insulin levels. Like it's just way too much, <laughs> right? Like you guys nailed it. Very well balanced. And this is, I can have have a six pack of this and not feel bad yeah you won't have a six bomb. pack if you drink that right. though what's that so you won't have a six pack if you drink all that oh i already gave up on that i don't Two do pack. any core work i yeah. it's all upper body <laughs> it's all <on. laughs> it's all on <laughs> all right well it looks like we've enjoyed this beer so that means we're going to move on to the third spot and we'll come back with f3 after this
Welcome back to episode 160 of the Hop Nation USA podcast, and we're here with segment three of our second interview with Couch Brewery. We've brought them back because they're good, and you should visit them when you can. I'm just happy they stuck around. <laughs> of course they would. Dealing, Why wouldn't they? with our chicanery. They're more Dude, full of chicanery than we are. Our podcast with Steve was like four and a half hours long. <laughs> no, I, I remember the after the podcast, we kept hanging out, and then you guys were like, try this beer. I'm like, we've drank everything twice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am so disappointed that I, I missed that episode. That, that was, was like a shift of work, honestly. <laughs> such a fun time. <laughs> it was. It was a good time. But yeah, it was a good time, and that's why we brought them back. And uh, now that we're in segment three, we have a third beer. So whoever wants to introduce F3 to us can go right ahead. Mm. Well, well, you kind of skipped a little bit, but... Uh, what did I skip? Your your video and your audio stopped. Oh, yeah. It just it oh. skipped a little bit. Yeah, yeah you spun kinda, off track. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. What? Good one. Good one, Adam. <laughs> it uh, it kind of threw everybody off. But you said oh. something about you wanted us to talk about our hair. No, 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 no. Not talking oh, about your the beers. The beers. Yes, yes. Okay. yes, we're we're still talking about the beers. We're talking about your slot car series and we're talking about F three. Every so time is... you say slot, I think slot. Sorry. <laughs> what I hear. Not slot car that. series could be next. I think anyway, here okay. That's nothing but Jettas. <laughs> That's oh, oh yes. Jettas and Mustangs. <laughs> Well, we're not allowed crowds, so we don't have to worry about the Mustangs going into the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is F3 Fest Bump Shandy. So this is a beer that was already, uh, this was the winner, the, the, the Fest Bump Fest beer was the winner of the Rhapsody and Brew homebrew contest. <laughs> and the hops in that beer German mandarina hops are already very nice and orangey and citrusy. And then uh, I think it was Bobby said, we ought to make a shandy out of this. Actually, I think that was Carrie. Or Carrie. Yeah, I think Carrie came up with that one. And so Carrie and Bobby made a shandy, and holy crud, is it good. It is very, very lemony, very bright. Um, it makes your salivary glands come out. It's It's... It's Ooh, nice word. and tart and puckery. And uh, a lot of times you drink a shandy and it almost has like a chemically acid taste. At least that's the best way I can describe it to me. This is 100% pure lemon juice in it. And uh, this, I wish I had this beer on Sunday because I mowed the grass and it was a hot day. And that beer would have been absolutely perfect after mowing the lawn. So, oh my god, <laughs> this smells amazing. Yeah, the guys from Door Top Brewing, uh, yeah, yes, I, yeah. So, so, fill them in, Bobby. So, Jim and, and Kevin and Kevin from Door Top, uh, they come out one day. Actually, it was my, my first day there. Um, and we brewed this, this uh, fest bump, and um, really, it came out as such a phenomenal beer. Uh, and we, we still do have that in cans available as well, but that was such a great beer and we started to talk about it and Carrie said, Oh man, we should make a shandy out of this. And we're drinking it and we're like, yeah, we should. Uh, it, Cause it, it is, it, it's a phenomenal beer. It's very clean. Um, very easy to drink. And, and like Darren said, man, on, on these hot days. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So has anybody in the top row of the video been able to drink it yet? What, what do you mean by the top row? Everybody's on the top row of my computer. Oh, God. I don't see anybody. <laughs> <laughs> For you the guys video always... watchers, it will be Hot Nation USA on oh. the top row and Couch on the bottom row. But on my screen, I am top center. I love them. <laughs> That's where I'm at on my screen, top center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, center square. Oh, there we go. I didn't see anybody until just now. Hey, Steve, what? some people's kids. I know, right? <laughs> uh, I let my husband set it up for me, so I'm all... <laughs> I had this beer long ago whenever we made it. Oh, my God. There we is. were drinking it while we were canning it. 
for quality purposes, it is a very, very spectacular beer. Definitely so, citrusy. Yeah, very citrusy. Mm. I'll say hey. it, it for sure like is not too sour for me. I'm not a big sour head, but this is not that sour at all. It is very refreshing and lemony. It's like it, it's pretty excellent, and I'm mm. down for it. Hell yeah. No, it's definitely doing a uh, super good job. You know, at first I didn't realize how citrusy it was. And to the untrained tongue, it may come off like, hey, is this, could this be a tart ale? Like what's going on here? No, it is all citrus, all lemon, all fun. No, it's, it's really good. I'm really digging this. I, I think it was said best that uh, this was really good after cutting the grass. This is 100% a grass cutting beer. Uh, th- this is this should be in the cup holder of the John Deere as you oh. cut your three acres. You're not a Husqvarna man. John Deere. <laughs> Husqvarna, please. I'm a goddamn American. You, you get the like German Hulk shit out of here. That's or right. Swedish, whatever they are. <laughs> got the green and yellow on the uh, can too. So that's right. Oh, yeah. I'm okay, gonna so ask to put one in the John Deere tomorrow. Speaking of the can, I'm, I'm going to give Adam the chance to actually tell us what the li- uh, livery is on this one and see if he gets it right. So I know it's British. My, my only frustration is I can't tell if it's Jaguar or Aston Martin. My money, however, is going to go on Aston Martin. And the logo for couch came from Esso. Correct on the logo. Okay. Delivery is Lotus. British car, you were right, but it's Lotus. Damn it. Yeah. Dude, that's like that's total Lotus right there. It is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> he still he, did better than most people. Oh, like, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> he well, went two I, for I, three. He got the logo and he got the country. <laughs> yeah. Adam, Adam's very, very good at this. He likes us, man. He's well, so excited right now. <laughs> I, didn't add, I didn't add likeness. That was my problem. Well, let's, how, let's see how he does on the porn series. Hey. Oh, yeah. Mm. But we have no, one no, more for you, yeah, Adam. This is our last one, and I will get out of the way. Do you have any idea of this livery here? Oh. He just Hold got on. up. Is, it's, it's is the shirt by... coming off? All I'm seeing is Dennis. Brown chicken brown cow. He, his oh. is set to speaker only because he's a boob. <laughs> oh, so like you can't see my video? I can I see his video. Yeah, Sam, he has... I'm seeing the, the, the hippie blueberry. Yeah. Yes. yes. Or blackberry. Oh, the blackberry. I'm sorry. That's a livery? Oh, no. Look, I mean, it looks like Gravedigger to me, but. <laughs> That's not Gravedigger. Oh, Gravedigger. 0%. Oh no! Zero percent. The co- the colors are there. Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, Sunday. Oh. I That's what I, I usually do for Valentine's is. Day. Oh, I can't. I can't tell what that is. I need a it hint. Is, it is the 1970 Porsche hippie car. Damn it! Damn it. That's and the cool. logo. That's dope. Is uh? Is that Dotson? Martini Rossi. Martini Rossi. I am terrible at this game. <laughs> no, you're still way better than I could ever be. I'm like, it's colors and words. I'm like sorry. It. And you can't even tell the colors. <laughs> Not all of them. <laughs> I live in my own world by my own rules. That's all right. I will come back. I will do better next time. No. I promise Dude, you. You were, you were fantastic, man. Ah. See, your job now, Adam, is to pitch them a very obscure one. <laughs> Oh, I got, I got things in mind. No, I'm just brain. saying, yeah. You send, tell me what the thing is. I'll make a you know label for them. And okay. We'll pitch them a beer. <laughs> oh, right. dude, don't test me because the only reason I know this is because I researched it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Be so much better at it. That sounds like a Hot Nation collaboration. Oh, it does. So, a collaboration. <laughs> so here's a question. Are you, are you dedicated to just Formula One or are you willing to expand out to other – the motorsports. Okay, so the reason we picked all the Formula One cars is because that's what I was remembering as a kid. My okay. uncle's race car track was all like Formula One. Okay. And uh, but there was some because I don't think you know we were never a racing family. We we're never into racing. But the only time that I remember 
anyone in my family watching racing, it was always, um, it was never NASCAR. It was always mm -hmm. one of those like 24 hours of Le Mans or, or, or some kind of Formula One. Right. All the road courses, all the endurance Absolutely. racing, things yeah, like it, that. It, yeah. It had to be a road course and there was no tracks, but huh. there's a Sounds lot like of actual cool racing. There's a lot of cool liveries out there. For oh, absolutely. A lot of racing, you know, so. Yeah. The one, I've got ideas. <laughs> there, there was a Steve McQueen, red, white, and blue. Uh, he, he was on a couple cars, Steve McQueen. And, mm -hmm. um, and, like, the white wasn't pure white. It was, like, kind of like an off-white, off 60s white. So I dig all that stuff, yeah. But yeah. It, retro, I'm not big into the newer stuff. But like just like the real simple bold lines because nobody had fluorescent colors back then and stuff so the design and the colors had to be very very bold for people to catch attention a anything after 1995 I'm not going to worry about it anything after 1979 <laughs> i'm not even 1979 that's the line all right the 80s, yeah. the 80s didn't exist for Darren. <laughs> you sound like, adam you sound like an irresponsible father born after 95 i ain't worried about you <laughs> oh wait you know there was uh, I was tossing around some 80s shit in my head, but uh, it's got to be the right 80s stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Like, Don't you worry. We'll, we'll talk after. Yeah. <laughs> like Miami Vice boy did 80s perfectly, you know, mm -hmm. like 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 that theme of the pastels. and But uh, Saved by the Bell 80s, not good. You know, no, not no. good at all. No, no. that's gross. I, I like more Journey 80s. Oh, no. So, well, oh. See, I can't do Journey either. What? Oh, you oh, stopped no. believing. Oh, oh Steve no. Perry, come on. Yeah. We're going to have to re read. We all have a different version. It, it, it sounds like you guys need to have a team meeting after this. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Some friendships are going to be broken. Uh, you guys can They're test that. Be broken. You guys can test that after the show. But for now, we're going to test your friendships now because we're going to put you against each other. All right. We're bringing back yeah. the classic uh, game that we only did once. <laughs> and, but, we did it, but we did it with Couch. And it is our version of Chopped, which I believe I called Brood. But I cannot be sure of that. Cause it's I can't been... remember either. It was fun, though. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. And I am like, the reigning champion and only champion. Darren is the once and returning champion for this game. Can I defend my title? Yes, you will. We most encourage likely, it. Yes, yes, most likely. So <laughs> the way this works is we're going to give you three scenarios and you have to brew the perfect beer and you will be judged by Adam, Dennis, and myself. And we'll keep our judgments to ourselves until the end of all the pitches but we'll hear them all and then we'll let you know who won that round and whoever wins you know, the entire thing gets to be champion. Uh, every round though, if you come in first, you get three points. Second is worth two points and third is worth one point. Is there a belt? Do we win a belt or something? Uh, no, ah. but I'll show you a picture of a belt. <laughs> and you can Actually, I bought some yeah. championship thong underwear for myself because Steve didn't provide one. And the winner will get that pair of underwear that I'm wearing right now. Deal. Uh, is now I no longer want to be a judge. I kind of want to play. That is one <laughs> of a prize. This is, this is a very poor play. show. We don't get uh, money from like Sattva. No sponsors? Yeah, we have no sponsors or anything. Our only sponsor is First Sip, and they don't give us any money. So We give you our time and love that's it <laughs> Maybe and we appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh how about you can win your choice of a, your favorite uh couch brewery beer <laughs> oh yeah i'm in i'm in <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay. We do have the couch cup at the brewery. So just made the See, winner another could, firework. Winner could carry the couch cup around with them. Ooh, oh, the yeah, they could cup. carry the couch, the couch cup. cup. Wait, that little, that little, yeah, yeah. No, no, little trophy no, no. I brought in? Yeah. No, Beth, the huge trophy that the you brought The huge in. trophy. The big one. <laughs> the one made out of solid pewter. Yeah, solid pewter. I'll find one of those at the <laughs> thrift store. Don't worry. All, All right, right, so what's the scenario? So your first scenario is we're on the cusp. Holy shit, them fireworks are loud. I, I, <laughs> no, it's, I think I, I, maybe it is. 
It might be the shooting range. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> they're just shooting cannons over there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I told like, you I live in like the woods we, now. We, we're we're in thing in 1472. PTSD <laughs> is about to kick you. It out. feels very West Virginia where I'm at. Just say. <laughs> All right. So your first uh, your first scenario is we are on the cusp of Fourth of July, which is very, you know, obviously. Beth has the fireworks in the background, so we're in the mood all right now. But uh, I want you guys to each design your perfect cookout beer. And the only restrictions you have is you have to include an ingredient that does pertain to 4th of July. Whatever it is. Could be a burger, could be a hot dog, could be a bomb pop, I don't care. But it has to make sense within 4th of July. <laughs> mm. I'm thinking something apple pie. Sport fireworks. Well, uh, well, who's well, going first? Well, we're going to start with Darren since you're the uh, defending champion, and we'll give the other two a chance to get acclimated to the game. Well, uh, I don't want to seem overconfident, and I don't want to make this sound a lot easier for Bobby and Beth because I am the champion. But this is absolutely obvious but I'm not going to do it because it is so obvious. Someone would brew a watermelon beer. We already have a watermelon beer. We already brewed that. I mean, that's, 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 that's the easy way out of this thing. The absolute easy way out. So, and I only had a couple seconds to think about it, but you know, you're talking about burgers and you're talking about uh, hot dogs and all this other stuff. I would brew a beer. You know what I would brew? I would brew a cream ale with fresh freaking corn so that you would get that cream ale and then like fresh corn has like that consistency to it. I would, I wouldn't even make it clear. I would make it hazy just like that corn that you peel off after you, you know, you boil and you mix it with butter and salt and pepper. I would try to emulate that in the beer. But I would only make it four and a half percent. Something, something that you could drink all day while you're cooking out and hanging out with your friends. So that's the beer that I think I would brew. I would go in that direction, and uh, you need some kind of hops to balance out that corn. What are you laughing at, Bobby? Uh, or I'm sorry, Dennis. Yo, the, the straight up cannons. Like, I know. They let off over at Beth's. Like, I told you I moved out of the hood, insane. and this is what I moved to. It's worse. That's actually Beth's husband shooting <laughs> their guns off outside. Just shooting <laughs> desert eagles out there. Like, <laughs> Jeez. Brad, Brad is drinking wild turkey and shooting wild turkey. <laughs> Something, but, uh, something's going on. But you know what? To get the watermelon in there, I would, I would throw it, and I've been talking about this hops for weeks now, and Bob, Bobby's probably sick of me talking about it. I would go super crazy with it. I'd throw Idaho Jeb and get, like, that watermelon Jolly oh. Rancher taste in it. Mm. God damn it. So, like, you, so, like, you have the, so you have the corn, and you have – this is just me bouncing shit off the wall, but that's what I'm going with. I'm going with my watermelon corn beer with no watermelon in it, but it's it, a cream it's, ale. It's a side dish a beer. Percent. Yeah. yeah, it's a side dish beer. You that way you can fill up more on hot dogs and hamburgers. Yep. You drink that while mm -hmm. you're eating your hamburgers and hot dogs. Man. All right. All right. We'll keep that yeah. into consideration. Damn. That's um, a high bar. Yeah. Ch champion comes hot out the gate. Well, let's go on to Bobby Nacho. What beer would you brew as your perfect cookout beer? Well, those who know me know that I'm stupid. So I've got to do something just totally stupid. And, you know, Darren, Darren's going to give you the beer that you're going to drink and you're going to enjoy while it's still hot. But at the end of the cookout, you're winding down. You need something just to kick your ass. So we're going to do a great big sweet stout. And, you know, there's always somebody that brings this cake to your party. And on top of that cake, it's got the whipped cream and it's got the blueberries and the strawberries laid out as the American flag. Oh. Well, that's going in your stout. Bobby so knows have, how to play the game. You know, you're gonna have <laughs> play the judges. You're going to have strawberries. Sure. <laughs> and it's just going to kick your ass. And when the end of the night's over with you, you're going to be like, damn, that was good. I don't even remember what that first beer was because it was so many hours ago. My, 
Can, my can reign might ABV be short. <laughs> <laughs> can we get an ABV on that, Bobby Nacho? <laughs> Dennis is looking for an ABV on that. <laughs> oh, it's it's going to be high. It's got to be at least nine. Okay. All it's right. going to be a kick your ass beer. <laughs> That's double the strength of mine, Bobby. Yeah. yeah. Double. You only had to drink half as much. And when you drink it, you're not even going to remember your beer. So, <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. All right, Beth, as you explode, what is the beer that you would have brewed? Well, I, f- perfect- I feel like these guys are going dessert. Maybe I'm going to go something more meaty. Mm. I once had a beer from North Country that was a taco beer. Mm. Sounded weird. Super interesting. Small portion was really good. I'm thinking maybe like a barbecue beer, maybe like a pork belly stout. Maybe, you know, do something with a little barbecue flavor in it. I like, I like, like I said, I like things that taste like something you would eat. So I'm thinking maybe something a little, a little smoky, a little salty, a little, uh, little filling, maybe. Mm-hmm. So if nothing else, I have to give you credit for presentation. You're the only one that has fireworks going off in the back. Of the <laughs> it's like people or, or are agreeing with your shot. points. I don't know. <laughs> Beth is broadcasting from her bunker in Fallujah. <laughs> <laughs> she said barbecue beer, and then someone, yeah, I like that. <laughs> well, I'm thinking a little sweet baby Ray flavor. There you go. But in a beer. Oh, all something right. up to me. Maybe you could do like some pork fat in there. I don't, I don't know how that works. Like I said, I had that taco beer, and it was I mean, really interesting. If she's it was like all the flavors of taco, but less calories. Did you have so the hot dog beer that was just out? I have. I can't. I can't. The hot dog it. from the chamois yeah. cup and um, sheets. Oh no! But when you started talking about like food stuff, I was thinking like hot dog water. I was thinking like that kind of. Yeah. Flavor. <laughs> yeah. I like scrapple, so I don't care. I'll eat. I'll eat whatever. So. So what kind of beer are we saying that this kind of is? Like maybe you know, like a stout. stout. Like maybe stout. I feel like it has to have like that smoky flavor, but like a little bit of like a salty meat flavor also. Um, Damn. All right. I like to mix right. it up. Yeah, you guys are I'll, not making this easy. Just so you I'll know. Some <laughs> All three of you. I don't care. Well, I think we have more professionals, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's professionals. And it they're, shows. Holy they're shit. short taking for us idiots. <laughs> and, so. and pyrotechnics, you guys got it going on. I got fireworks with my beer <laughs> idea. So is, is any judge. <laughs> on cue. On cue. <laughs> is any judge ready to go first with their judge? this, I'm going to video. I'm putting a video. I can't. I'm gonna need like ten best. seconds. Let me figure this out real quick. All right. I, I, so I'll Steve, just first. like number one from like what we want to what we least would drink, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, it's it's kind of a one, two, three, and then I can give points out that way. But uh, I, I'll go first. I, I I'll say, Beth. I like the idea. I like the it, it's it's been tried before though. And it was called Ooh. the Ducaw Q. I didn't it, have that. It didn't come out quite right. So I've had it before and it's not completely great. I do like the idea of going with Sweet Baby Rays okay. because I do love Sweet Baby Rays and that maybe make, might make it work. But overall, that beer is really hard to pull off. So I'm going to have we to. We can put, do it. Couch has got this. I'm going to have to put that one third, though, <laughs> because I feel like the other ones can go. A lot Stuff farther. with the apple pie. Darren, uh, I do like your idea of, you know, a, a side dish ale that uh, you can just have that instead of, you know, loading up a plate. You have your side dish ale with your I'm, hot dogs and hamburgers. I am hearing a butt here, Steve. <laughs> and it's but, not a pork butt. No. <laughs> not a pork Cause, butt. Because Beth used use all beer. that in her beer. <laughs> yeah. The butt is, I don't know if watermelon and corn are going to work together. That's my butt. I just don't know. It's it's not actual watermelon. It's the it's the it's the, the Idaho it gem the hops, even, which, which even, gives you just the hint yeah. of you know. <laughs> it's to balance out the corniness in my stupid corny beer. <laughs> I can't lose, Steve. I can't lose. <laughs> it's just me. It's just me so far. You haven't even heard Dennis and Adam yet. <laughs> but you're hearing what everybody else is going to hear. My beer will be be drunk all day. 
Bobby's is just at the end of the night. It's going to knock when, the shit out of everybody. Man, Mine doesn't the, have a coma. The kids are screaming so, and everyone wants to go home. They are they really see campaigning the for this. I wish our, I the leadership of our country were, was as passionate as you guys are about these know, beers. Right? My beer will sober you up. It's a meal and a beer. I mean... You not got, you're not works. making bad points, <laughs> but no, Bobby, it's not a beer. It's the but most Bobby beer gave ever. a 9% strawberry oh, yeah. blueberry Steve, cake. Steve's oh, going no, for that every time. <laughs> well, you should have volunteered. 10-3. 10-3 on mine. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <It's, laughs> still doesn't quite work, but yeah, for this round, I'm going to go with Bobby. That's number one. I do That's enjoy that cake. Brewer, yeah. I know what he's talking about. I like that cake. I like pastry stouts. I like things that are 9%. He knew how to play to the judges, but, you know, <laughs> let's not try to push that too much. <laughs> you know what? You last, time, last time I came in second in the first round, and then I really knocked it out of the park on the third one or on the uh, second, the second beer. So, okay, I'm happy. All right. Dennis, I got $5 for you, big one. Ooh, I can be bribed. <laughs> it's true. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to go next, Adam? And I'll Look, I, got fresh egg, I'll go. I got fresh eggs, fresh eggs come October. It doesn't come in your way. <laughs> Just be aware there's M80s in all the eggs. Apparently. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> don't choose us. <laughs> don't choose me. <laughs> all right. So there has to be a third place here. For this category and, un and unfortunately I, I gotta go with darren on this one whoa oh, oh. Whoa. whoa oh you got you but here's the thing is when you talked about it at first it's like oh this makes sense this is this is gonna be fantastic but but then beth and bobby nacho came in and, <laughs> and they went even higher but the, like steve said the combination <laughs> of the corn and the watermelon I'm not have you guys never eaten corn and watermelon together? I, I can't say Ever. that I have. I, I mean, mean, they've been on the, on plate the same, same plate, time. but yeah. not in my face at <laughs> the same touching. time. Not touching. No, no, I don't. I don't push the kernels into the into the water. <laughs> you know, you one time a psychopath <laughs> in the not too but distant past, someone said I would never mix chocolate and peanut butter, and now everybody does. I'm on the cutting edge of this, Adam. <laughs> on the absolute cutting edge of this. Nobody ever said that. I am more than willing to be the, wrong. The, Adam, the planets evolve around the sun. That's, that's, <laughs> you're going no, to hell. The sun. <laughs> I, in, in, in second place, I, 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 I got to go with Beth with the, with the, uh, the barbecue beer. I disagree with Steve a little bit when, when talking about the Dewclaw Q. He said it didn't turn out that well. I liked it. I thought it was good. I, 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 mean, I think it's something. We don't like IPAs. I think it's worthy of pursuing again. Uh, but, but unfortunately, somebody, somebody brought the 50 cal. <laughs> in. I brought the 80 cal. Did you hear that shit? Did you hear that? I did. My ears are still ringing. <laughs> I don't know if that's how cows work. <laughs> Cal <-calibration. laughs> but but with the the nine percent, uh, you know, fatty boy stout at the end of the night, I can't really, I can't deny that. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> fair enough. That's fair enough. Enough. Again, that's why Bobby's the brewer. So I'll just make I'll just make whatever beer again, it tastes like. I got it's no fair because you Bobby's your, a chef too. Your bronze, so. silver, gold again, Adam, real quick. <laughs> uh, if, if we're going for the podium, uh, bronze wa was Darren with the, uh, the corn melon, and then uh, Beth came with the uh, with the uh, exploded Q, and then <laughs> and then we had the uh, the berries and stout. Uh, just just end the night beer. All right, all that, right. That was my rankings. Yeah. I just got confused. We had a lot of combo. Uh, I, I, went, I went from bronze to silver. I'm, good. I'm okay. If I don't get a gold, I swear to God, Dennis. Well, friendship, wow. friendship over. Oh, okay, I'm going to say is, here. like, I'm used to not having a lot of friends. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Dennis, I, you still have one. I, I grew Are up with, salty? like, two. <laughs> <laughs> I know a beer that'll go with that. <laughs> 
It tastes but like sweet I, baby rays. It better not be sweet baby rays. God damn it. I swear I to will God. say this. So I do have a caveat. So listen to my rankings and then listen to the caveat in the end. <laughs> Here's um, the yeah, so, so So bronze, Beth. You ride up in there with that, that, that. Now, it sounds good, right? Like, I like the, the smoky, the, so I'm a big savory person. When it comes to choosing savory or sweet, I will choose savory nine times out of ten. So I like what you're doing with it. Uh, I think it was just the competition that you were up against. So honestly, if you, yeah. uh, if they I, chose I any other brews, ah, ooh. So even still, I, oh, man. So here, I'll, I'll let I'll let everyone know in the end. So I, you know, it, rankings where they are: bronze, silver. Now this was tough. Silver, I'll have to give it to Bobby Nacho with the sweet stout. Ooh. I love blueberry. <laughs> I love strawberry. I love stouts. Nine percent is right where I want to be. But I already know, uh, you know, that beer. I can only have one. Two if Bobby Nacho takes his shirt off, and then um, let's just stop at two. It gets yeah. really crazy Do it. after that. Do it. No, <laughs> Bobby not- Oh, I thought he got stuck. I was like, that happens to me. <laughs> so- <laughs> that happens so to me so. sometimes. <laughs> no, but it, you know, it sounds like a phenomenal beer. Um, I just think I can only have a couple of those, so that's why I have to give it up to my man Darren coming with in uh, with the gold with the cream ale because I love corn. So Sammy and I, when we went up into the New England area, we visited a brewery called Turtle Swamp. They had a tortilla Mm -hmm. beer that was made out of fresh corn and let me tell you what it was absolutely phenomenal like it was perfect it was everything i wanted um and And i think the watermelon what's that watermelon in it so the watermelon so i understood what darren was going for because it's not watermelon juice but but you're correct and you didn't i would have liked you to say when you were adding those hops but in my mind i created one you were going to add it later in the boil so it was going to be more aromatic and i thought that would play around with it where on the nose you'll get the perceived slightly sweet undertones of watermelon but the corn would carry it the whole way through and it's a beer you can drink all the time you so understand like, if adam <laughs> does not at all he doesn't get it he just doesn't I mean, get Darren, it that's a life Darren, i live so <laughs> so Darren that's why me on idaho gem now that, yeah that's, so it sounds that's gonna good. be really good with a watermelon so like Darren, a I have goddamn jolly old. rancher but my caveat would be, and I really want you guys to do this, I think it would be super cool if you came up with some type of collab between Darren, your beer, and Beth's beer. Like, if there was, like, a smoky, like, corn, like, fresh corn type, type like a, uh, style. Like a Mexican street corn? Dude, I oh. will tear that yeah. up. I think that oh. is what I want to see actually come through. Bobby Ooh. Nacho, with I still want to go with cilantro. Mm. <laughs> with a little bit of jalapeno? Somebody better be I writing this down. Do it. A little bit I think jalapeno? that's how you do it right there. I wrote down Darren plus Beth dot Darren dot dot Beth beer, heart. which I mean, I, however BFF. that ends up. <laughs> We're going to get some BFF necklaces, Darren. It's going to be corn. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I am uh, I am uh, putting this in my notes on my uh, iPhone. <laughs> Ooh, that that would but be. But I still want to be clear. I still want Bobby Nacho's beer. I just also want to see what that Frankenstein high well, maybe, turns out. Maybe Labor Day we can have like a like a picnic four pack where it's four Ooh, yeah. different oh, beers damn. that are like every <laughs> every aspect of a barbecue in a four pack. Oh shit! Yeah, absolutely, Darren. I think we just lost. She, got, she, got, she just wrapped it up. Yep. I, didn't, I didn't spend a bunch of money on schooling to figure that shit out. Well, when you when you guys made a comment earlier, like sides, like this is like a sides type beer. I, uh-huh. I just pictured you guys being who you are, like naming a beer side chick <laughs> or side hustle. Side, side hustle. Side piece. I took a beer to Oakmont's uh, Home Brew Fest, and it was called Side Chick. Nice. Ooh. I like Side yeah. Piece. Side Piece reminds side me. Side Piece, of, I, I'm digging because right. it can go either way. If your yeah. mind's in the gutter, like everyone that's, on this that's podcast. That's gender, gender neutral. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? You can Plus, also have a Side Piece uh, of water bill. Plus, yeah. if you're a big uh, Second yep. Amendment person, Side Piece is oh. also, side, also, yeah. that. also side that. dish. Oh. It's a side, my side piece. I think that's what you're going to call that hybrid side piece. 
another another gunshot. <laughs> All right. Well, we have a different we have a definite front runner right now. So. It's me, right? No. So we're going to go to Adam. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam is going to give you the next prompt. So the next prompt is actually in honor of one of our co-hosts, Bubba. Mm. Uh, I, Who I thought I, was a big black guy and he's not. So he is the exact upset. opposite. <laughs> he is 0% that. Uh, <laughs> well, no, not 0% because he is a guy. True. Oh, I'll, yes. give so, like, I'll give you that. So I'll give you well, 20, 35 because he's not big and he's not black. He's just a guy. All right. A third. He's a third of it. <laughs> hey, you know what? If he's three. playing baseball, he's in the hall of fame with that. <laughs> so in, in honor of Bubba and, and his, his wife, Haley, the cider queen, uh, they recently had their first child, Adeline, a beautiful oh. baby girl. Right. Uh, and Bubba has decided that he wants to throw a welcome to the world party. And he has asked you guys to brew a beer for that. What are you brewing? What and year are we brewing this beer? <laughs> uh, right now, Adeline uh, came into the world a week ago. Mm, this fresh, fresh ass beer. Yes. Fresh beer. Fresh what beer. do mom and dad like to eat or drink? So uh, Bubba is an IPA guy, but uh, Haley, the cider queen, uh, likes sours. Mmm. And Can ciders, you brew a beer obviously. With and ciders, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so, she's cider queen, but she likes sours. I was like, I think she needs a new title. <laughs> she's the cider queen, but she's into Fords. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this one, we're going to start with Bobby Nacho, and then we'll go to Darren, and then we'll go to Beth. If I'm alive at the end of this. Jesus. I feel like the thunder at Dracula's castle at Beth's place. <laughs> that is 1930s. So sad. <laughs> yeah, that is 1930s stock uh, sound effects. <laughs> I live down Big in the hall. sheet of aluminum. Steve can buy those sound effects for 99 cents, but today he gets them for free. <laughs> That's right. I'm going I'm to clip them and sell them. <laughs> you can use these for future... Uh, future airings here <laughs> so bobby do you have an idea for this welcome to the world beer welcome to the world no um <laughs> gotta be red <laughs> and, and the baby was what a boy or a girl a girl adeline 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 hmm this is the tough one so we like sour so let's make a sour and okay Let's let's hit that sour with something that, that little Adeline's going to have a lot of in the next four or five years, and it's not ethanol. It'll be um, we're we're going to we're going to condition this sour on fruity pebbles. We're going to okay. condition a lot of fruity pebbles because she's going to be eating them for the next several years. Oh damn! Hit it with a little little bit little more of the juice from the lemons and the limes and all that other kind of stuff, but we're going to hit with that fruity pebbles to give you all the fruitiness in the world to go with your sour. That's got to be tough to beat. It's pretty good. Pretty That's good. Oh, That's damn good. The parents can be <laughs> drinking fruity, fruity pebble beers while she's uh, eating on a bowl of fruity pebbles. So mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> world goes around. Darren, what would you brew? Boy, I am, I am, I am absolutely stumped on this. Um, is this a beer for now or for like a fifth birthday or sixth birthday or something? <laughs> well, we'll say you have, you have two months that way you have a time to go through the brewing process and canning and everything like that. Yeah. My initial thought was to brew a base and then, so this is like, a, like for a welcome to the world party. Yes, it's obviously like, not for her, but for no, the no, no. And... But uh, I would, I would brew a base, and then at the same time, and I'm going to steal an idea from Bobby Nacho, make a tincture of hops for those who like hops, like her dad, and then make a tincture of something uh, with sour. So and zesty something like 
yogurt or I, I don't know but something where you could squirt into the beer and it would <laughs> and this is <laughs> this is, this is take me out of the championship hey that's the sick only fans channel i'm gonna yeah put some uh, you can catch this. it uh it's 14.99 a month but uh um, but 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 that was my first thought, and that's, that that's definitely. <laughs> Darren, look, I don't even know what beer this is. I just feel like it's like I I'm owe you money out of the for box, watching Dennis. this. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm trying to totally think out of the box, but we have a month to do it. Too much. We'll, we'll, we'll give you two what, months. What style two months? did you say this was, Darren? I, I didn't even say. I, I would just. Well, say you like have to face. say. I can't visualize it. Well, I'm I'm still trying to visualize. I'm I'm still thinking out loud. It makes this even better because you have those crazy holographics <laughs> going on. Yeah, well, th- well, that's what it looks like inside my brain right now. That's a projection <laughs> of the inside of my brain. You just a filter and drop some LSD in it. That could be it, but this is for a little kids' party, and we don't want people tripping out the tripping the light fantastic that's how parents get oh, through having why not? that's going to be the last time they're going to be happy <laughs> but you know what i would hate to go the easy route oh we're going to make an ipa slash bobby actually has probably the best idea i'm going to defer to him but um i don't know you know what i would make I would make something that neither one of them like, but that is delicious. So I'm going to make a stout, a blueberry freaking stout at 9% so that everyone can freaking enjoy it. I believe the judges specifically so said not to push that button too much. <laughs> I think he should be disqualified. <laughs> I'm not going to disqualify him. I, no, you know what? I'm I, stick, I, 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 I think I was on the track with Darren's original idea of making a split batch mm-hmm. of you, know, you have a hoppy beer and you have a more sour beer. But like kind of represent- using the same base on it. Mm-hmm. Like you, it, it would be the same base. And if they really I, wanted to, they could squirt both tinctures into it at once, and then that's yeah. how you represent the baby. I'm so not. <laughs> so, Darren, I think just start all over one more time. No, what no, no, no. It? We're moving on. Yeah, yeah, move on, move on, move on. <laughs> I get it. Because I, I don't like know what beer this is now. Do we have tinctures or don't we? <laughs> you do whatever you want, Dennis. Beth, what's your <laughs> beer? <laughs> so, I'm thinking, I've always heard, don't know. But breast milk is supposed to taste kind of like cantaloupe. So I'm thinking a hopped cantaloupe, like sour beer, mm. so that mom can have it and the kid's not going to taste the difference. Oh, damn. Mm. Ooh, I'm getting deep there. But Do a nice, like it? a clean, a clean uh, wait, cantaloupe, wait, wait, wait. real fresh. A new challenger things. arises. Ooh. I just want I to be clear. Are you know saying like the mom can have else, a hot but... cantaloupe uh, <laughs> sour beer and the baby won't know the difference? <laughs> because apparently breast milk tastes like cantaloupe. So <laughs> if you drink it, little well, baby ain't going to know. Was this, was this milk or is this, are you drinking mom? <laughs> oh, will dad know? <laughs> dad, dad might know. Depends, depends on how long he's on the teeth. <laughs> If he's a sicko, he'll know, Steve. He'll know. He'll taste the difference. <laughs> this is not the Cambo- Cambodian breast milk. <laughs> this is not. This it's, is it, not it. It's a good idea because if think, she was I drinking a bunch of Roush beers, she would, you know, the baby would taste smoke, and that's not good for it, babies. Yeah, you don't. Well, you want the baby to, to be to be able to sleep, so you want to give it something that it's familiar with. So a little re- cantaloupe sour, a little hoppiness re- for dad, a little sour right. for mom, no, a little cantaloupe flavor sense. for mom. It's good. I was just like laughing at the fact that I get that the baby won't taste the difference, but it's still like a ton of alcohol. So I don't know how that affects. Look, the baby's gonna sleep. Everyone's gonna sleep well after this. Let's just put it that you way. Don't know anybody and after you have a baby, baby, that's what you need to do. You need to knock yourself out and go the hell to bed. So I'm going a hopped cantaloupe sour. Right. All right. I am. You know with what? With a cheese I'm... plate. With a cheese plate afterwards. <laughs> I I can actually very easily judge this round from that so i'll just go i don't know where adam's going but he's going uh darren i'm gonna give you second place and i'm i'm basing it off your original idea that i also helped you with so i have to give myself a point for being helpful 
<laughs> but uh, you're the only one who understands, Steve. You're the only I, one. I I like the I idea. I like the idea of brewing something that is for both the mom and the dad, but you kind of keep it separate, and you the party goers can either be on the dad side or the mom side, or they can put both things in the same beer together and represent the baby. So it was thoughtful and I like that. Bobby Nacho, unfortunately, I I like your idea and it's probably a very drinkable beer and I would probably drink it myself, but I just don't think it went full out to think of the parents as well. And that's why Beth you had the most Ooh. thoughtful idea Go, girl. to represent nice. everybody involved and you didn't have to stammer and you didn't have, you didn't need me to help you along. <laughs> Darren. I'm listening, Steve. I can hear that. <laughs> I can hear that. Beth, Beth, you win this round for me. Thank you. All of my friends have kids and I try to incorporate my life into theirs. So, you know. <laughs> uh, Dennis, you're up because Adam has disappeared. Oh, he's back. Oh, there he is. <laughs> and that's just how the crooked tumbles. All right. So uh, for me, Darren, I love you, man. I understand. I'm confused. third. Let's just move on. <laughs> just, let's no, just move you, on. You No, no. People will hear this. You just confused me. Like At first, I loved the idea of the tinctures. Like, you, were, you were on it, and then you yelled yogurt. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm still with you. And then I just got really confused what was happening. Um, I like the idea of the tinctures. I think that should be something you guys look at in the future. Um, so that way, like you can kind of customize different beers. So I think that would be super cool. Um, but for this specific game that came in bronze, uh, silver, uh, I would say Bobby Nacho swung in there. Cause I do love fruity pebbles. I love lemon. I love lime. I love everything that you said about that, but kind of what Steve was saying, I thought Beth really brought it home, tying into the whole topic of everything. So Beth is coming in at gold first place with the hop cantaloupe sour beer. I think that's cool. Um, I'm not saying you should take her advice like a doctor's advice. <laughs> hey, this is good for the baby. Because <laughs> um, if I you mean, want your baby to go to sleep, just just give him or her robotus and he'll be okay. A little <laughs> bit of brewer's beer is okay. <laughs> That's my friend said. It's not fair because Bobby and I don't know what wine. breast milk tastes like. I don't know. I feel like <laughs> you guys have so many opportunities in the sure world. Yeah, that's your so fault. So is there like <laughs> 3 billion, no, 4 billion women on this planet? So that means 3 billion or 4 billion times 2, you have 8 billion chances. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm basing, my, I'm basing my stuff on watching an episode of Friends that they said it tastes like cantaloupes no you all you had i love cantaloupe um i feel me like there's gonna be some vitamin c in there what really brought it home for me personally i'm not the biggest sour beer fan but it's gonna be a hopped cantaloupe a hop, yeah so a little bit I of think a hop. that is like a crazy good combination that i will be all about so that is my rankings right on and adam you you're back yes what's up I, I am back and thank you for being patient with me uh darren i'm sorry <laughs> they're not all home runs at them. Yeah, they're not okay. all home runs <laughs> that's and all you right. know what i don't expect you to understand my genius <laughs> you you and i just met so that's all right, that's I all right. Understand. Understand. it is genius you have great ideas but i think when steve asked that question you had a stroke when you were trying to explain like what was going on <laughs> <laughs> because I, it was it was so new and exciting to me, Dennis. No, it was it was a weird topic. Like Adam had a weird setting. Like it was tough. Yeah, it's only uh, happened trillions of times before. Yeah, it's so no weird for making... children to come into <laughs> yeah. the world and want to celebrate no, that. No, it, but it's weird no, to what brew is... a beer specifically for that occasion. Like yes. I never would have even thought of that. <laughs> Uh, Maybe right. you should in the future. Yeah. Hey, well, no, I learned now. You guys <laughs> asked me that question. I ain't having a seizure. <laughs> so. Maybe you can be on the forefront of that trend, Dennis. <laughs> That's right. We are trends, Steve. Cutting edge. <laughs> so in, in second place or the silver medal position, as we are want to do here on the show, uh, Beth, I got to give it to you. And, and full disclosure, there's only one reason why you got the silver medal position. Is, it's because I'm a girl. It's because I'm a girl, right? No, zero percent of that. Uh, because I already know the name <laughs> of the beer, and it would be the Hopalope. Oh, what is it? The Hopalope. Who makes it? 
Well, you would. No, no, no. Oh. He's naming your beer. I, I'm oh. naming the beer. It's a combination because it's it's hoppy and it has cantaloupe. So it would be like a hopalope. Mm. And I like the idea of how the mascot of that would be. So it'd be a rabbit with huge boobs. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of cool. That's not exactly the way I was going. <laughs> because Adam's a regular person. <laughs> and that's why you stick around to the end. <laughs> Boom. But I, but I, I like the idea of what It only gets better a, with more beers. <laughs> I like the idea of what a hopalope could be. So like a jackalope? Yeah, it's like a jackalope, but with like But a not jacking off? Correct. <laughs> Keep Correct. doing that. There might be some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I would make a jackalope beer dark. though. Bank, bank. <laughs> Again, I'm super inappropriate. My mind has been in the gutter this whole time. I've been really keeping myself pulling it back. back. So pulling it back. <laughs> Thank pulling you, it Beth. Really it still has back. to make it to YouTube. So <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you can edit you. that I appreciate. out. <laughs> Any, anytime. <laughs> but in the in the gold medal position, I I, I must put the fruity pebble sour. I. Uh, that just sounds good, period. It does. It does. Good. have to have a reason or a celebration or anything like that. That just sounds good, period. All right. Write that one, write that one down. I want, like, <laughs> I've already made it, so I, I well, took it to the homebrew festival. Oh, so you're using an idea you already had. That's it's cheating. Here, so. It's a test <laughs> tried and true. Try and true my ass. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're on to our third category. Dennis, I'm going to give you the opportunity. If you came up with something and would like to present it as an idea, go ahead. That's if a good not, point, Steve. And if I, not, I have, a, I have a category ready. And as do I. I didn't know I was going to get the opportunity. Give me. You said you 15. can think on your feet. I, <laughs> He's sitting on his ass, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, give me 10 seconds. 10. <laughs> I this literally have a timer. Eight. Yeah, that's great. I think, <laughs> I think Dennis should come up with a beer that Seven. you have to drink to keep you alive on a long sea voyage. No, no, we did that last time. I know, I know. That's <laughs> what I won with. <laughs> oh, Darren no. had that recipe <laughs> written down. In, he I thought can't about game the system time. that way. Uh, Dennis has definitely been 20 sec okay, 25 yeah, yeah. seconds. So I would, and then you can like veto this if you want, but. What I would like to see is uh, just keep it nice, easy, open. I think this is going to open up to a lot of creativity, but just put, keep it as birthday beers. Okay. Easy. What right. beers would you brew for, uh, you know, your, your good old craft beer birthday? Say, so would it be your, your own personal birthday? No, no, it's going to be um, something that you would think would fit into the uh, majority of folks that may come into your tap room and say, it's my birthday. What are your birthday beer options? Ah, oh, all right. okay. Right That's now. a good one. Yeah. Uh, for this round, we'll start with Beth. Oh, damn it. I was hoping that wasn't going to happen. Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't have done so good in previous rounds. That'll that learn is you. what you get. Steve <laughs> punishes you when your life is going I very know. well. <laughs> well, whatever whatever it's going to... Wait, so keep it. Oh, you guys got me on that one. I'm going to go with what I would like, which would be... Have you ever had Nancy B cookies? Oh, yes. Oh, so, yes. I just went and got way too many nancy b cookies yesterday you can never have too oh. many nancy b cookies i know i well they're gone and i bought <laughs> a whole lot of them so nancy b does a chocolate chip cookie that is delicious but she does it with peanut butter in it so i would go like a chocolate peanut butter no bake flavor stout because i like stout um i would do that Ooh. i would do that served with maybe a Nancy B cookie. I don't know if that would be too much. So a, a chocolate peanut butter stout served with a chocolate peanut, peanut butter cookie. That's what I'm going with. Off All the top right. of my head. Because I literally ate one right before I started this whole <laughs> thing today. I literally came up from a hike, ate a Nancy B cookie, and came up here. All right. Bobby Nacho, you're up next. Hmm. You didn't help me, Beth. 
Sound like an old man getting <laughs> up out of the chair. Mm. Didn't help me. Um, so for my birthday, I'm not, I'm not a, the easy one is a birthday cake stout. And, and I'm not a birthday cake person. What I like is the ice cream cakes. Oh. So that takes me immediately to a milkshake IPA with extra lactose, a ton of vanilla. And if you want to put a little bit of chocolate in there, you can put a little bit of chocolate in there. Um, but I just think that, you know, the, 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 the more vanilla flavor, vanilla ice cream. cream. The more boring. And, and, the more well, boring. You know, we're, we're going to make this really vanilla, but when we serve it, it's going to be served over ice cream in the glass. So you're oh. going to your cake and ice cream or your ice cream cake in the glass. So it's going to be a float. You have my vote. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And champ. Now's your time. <laughs> Raining and defending. This <laughs> is where we separate the chumps from the champions right here. <laughs> so I wouldn't even brew a special beer for your birthday. I wouldn't do it because everybody has their own special type of beer. I'm like Bobby. I'm not a big birthday cake guy. The birthday cake beers have been done to death, and we would just be hopping on another trend. But what I would do is I would take different flavors of ice cream and mix hops in them, and I would say, what's your favorite style of beer, and what's your favorite style of ice cream? And I would make a beer milkshake with that, put it in a nice big glass, put some whipped cream and cherries on top of it, and there you go. So I wouldn't even make a beer. I would make an ice cream with the hops in it. That's some out of the box thinking right there. All right. All right. How do you know what beer to choose to put ice, the ice cream That's up it? to the people. It's, it's your birthday. So what kind of beer do you like, Dennis? Uh, and that's there. I want, I want me a stout. Darren wow. stout. Do you like just chocolate ice cream? Do you like vanilla ice cream? Do you like strawberry yeah. ice vanilla cream? Ice cream. Ooh, vanilla ice I cream. Vanilla ice cream. I didn't know strawberry was an option. I do like strawberry. But I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw some, uh, a little bit of amarillo hops in that uh, vanilla ice cream, so you get a little bit of orange, and that orange and the chocolate notes and the uh, stout. Mix it all together, in my little milkshake maker. There you go. Happy birthday, buddy. Darren just went That's full Sunday cool. bar. Yeah. Of a new yeah. of a new kind. He yeah. basket robin your ass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All thirty one flavors. <laughs> I um, did I, I, I did an end run on the beer making thing and went right <laughs> to ice cream. <laughs> well You're welcome. You're very welcome. I can judge this round easy easily as well. But Adam or Dennis, I'd prefer that one of you go first. Sure, I'll go first. If and you don't mind. I and this is this is a switch from from previous results. Uh but uh Bobby, I I'm sorry, but you're in third place. Oh man. Ooh, I, you just got shot. Right? A fucking I, explosion would happen as soon as you said Bobby was in third I place. swear to God, Steve has like a road, like podcaster switchboard and he's just hitting sounds right now. <laughs> I wish. I'm queuing him up here. How cool would that be? But now I'm, I'm, it, again, like all these other categories, none of these are bad ideas. It's just that somebody has to be in third place. Well, absolutely. And, and unfortunately, you uh, you pulled that card for this round. All right, I'll take it. So, 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 Beth, uh, you're coming in second place here with that Nancy Bees. I love me some Nancy Bees, right? And I, and I cannot Nancy deny that. But unfortunately for you, Darren came in uh, with the the custom fitted. Uh, I, I I can't even call it a beer. I can't call it a Sunday. I can't call it a cocktail. But just consumption unit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> consumption. Something to get you drunk. Right. Right. Yeah. And it's custom fitted for each yeah. and every individual customer. And I got to give props to that because with that, everybody's going to win. Nobody is gonna, nobody's going to hate that. And because of that, that's got to be in, in the first place gold medal position. Right on. Uh, that's how it's done, Adam. I'll go next. <laughs> 
just to make sure uh, Dennis takes the brunt of everybody being mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm used to it. That's how I live my life. There, I don't know. I have five. I, y'all make me want to eat some ice cream though after this. Yeah. Though. Five dollars, I've done worse for five bucks. So. <laughs> Made many so, decisions. I've done worse for two. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are getting paid it's a real cheap only fans <laughs> it's a hard knock life drop the link so uh so beth unfortunately i'm gonna give you third place this round it you have never had a nancy b cookie apparently true it, you're right true. oh you would yeah. not you would not choose me for third if you had a nancy b <laughs> I've only had Otis Spunk Meyer and not uh, even close. <laughs> Yo, Steve, Where do you live? Send me your address. I'm sending from you Otis Spunk Meyer a fire. <laughs> and uh, I'm more of an Entenmann's donut guy anyway. So always uh, buy one, get one free. Yeah. That's I mean you could have won with Entenmann's donut, so but you didn't know that. <laughs> well uh, we, we haven't met yet. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, it, it just kinda because I haven't had a Nancy B, it just kinda sounded like a peanut butter. Oh chocolate stout and i've had plenty of those no you i'm sorry I'm sorry yeah. for you yeah. i'm sorry it's for okay. you it's okay <laughs> uh bobby uh you had me in the first half with uh ice cream cake because i've never had not an ice cream cake for my birthday regular <laughs> cake just don't do it for me mm-hmm. uh so yeah you had me in the first half but you changed it into a milkshake ipa and kind of over those kind of mm-hmm. over what decadent does and it just didn't uh, I didn't sway me as much as Darren who lay on your praise because I'm ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even make anything? Oh yeah. It, he didn't <laughs> <laughs> He didn't necessarily make anything, but he did promise me a mint chocolate chip mosaic stout. I mean he didn't really. So. He was like a girl that's like, I'll do whatever you want. You and, can do whatever you want. Yeah, popular girls, Beth. Those are the popular girls. They win. Should have not been approved. Then. Yeah, that's how Tiffany wins. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, literally you're every you're single time. Tiffany. She promised Steve, you everything. Steve knows I the deal. I was a Karen when I should have been a Tiffany. Damn. Steve knows what's going on. Darren's the girl that promises you everything, but when right. you get back to the room, she's not even a girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that surprise is awesome. Darren, I'm about to change your ranking if you just said that surprise is awesome. Dennis, I'm taking that five dollars right back. You were up to like ten, maybe fifteen. Now you're going back to zero. I knew I was gonna lose it all, so I pretend like I never won to be so, honest. Uh, <laughs> j- That's how j- marriage works. That's how marriage works. So just so you know, Dennis, it is currently a one point game. So go ahead and give your rankings. Yeah, don't mess this up, Dennis. Yeah. Um, Look, I'm transparent as hell. I'll always do whatever the fuck like <laughs> I feel is right, what I want. And uh, most of the time it works out because people still like me afterwards. So I'm just going to like assume this is one of those times. Um, I know this next statement. If you even say I'm third, I swear to God. <laughs> Beth, through the computer. You. She will come at you through the computer. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I'm coming to your house. I'm showing up with the chickens. They're going to peck your eyes out. I'm yeah. just going to assume it's some weird fetish thing. <laughs> like just showing it is. Chickens. My husband loves like, it. Like, how did you know my wife and I were thinking about this? Thank you. Me and so Sam much. were texting earlier. <laughs> She's like, hey, um, don't, when, don't bring up chickens or chocolate, peanut butter stuff, and we'll be good. Uh, well, Go ahead. Give it to me. That's what she right, said. So okay. you're in the bronze category. I actually really enjoy chocolate peanut butter stouts. Never uh, had a Nancy B. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I have, but I mean, no. get it again. Smack talk is coming, baby. Look, Smack talk is coming. It is what it is. It, it, it's not that that doesn't sound amazing. It sounds really good. It's just in comparison to, because uh, that's how competition works. Don't, don't go to the next um, one. Man. Dennis, you know, if you put me in second, <laughs> you're next. It's you're next, Bobby. You're next. How is Darren going to win on this? Well, what happens if there's a tie? You'll well, find that's out. That's not my problem. That's Steve's <laughs> problem. Steve put this all together. <laughs> all right. So, that hit number Steve three, Beth. Uh, it sounds great, but moving on to silver. All right. 
Bobby Nacho ah. <laughs> coming in at second because you know s- similar to Steve, I'm just over you know tons of the the milkshake, the lactose bombs. But where you got me was like I'm a big vanilla. I love chocolate, and you kind of mimicking that ice cream repertoire inside of the beer sounds phenomenal. Like that should be done if it's done the right way without it being overly like sweet in your face. I think that's a phenomenal beer. Uh, but first place gold. Going to Darren, because uh, I actually enjoyed everything he's. I, and again, what came out was thinking outside of the box. That's what it came down to. Um, and more importantly, like that's what I would want on my birthday. It's customizable. It's a promise for what you get on your birthday. And that's kind of what I was thinking when I came up with this cav- category in the 15 seconds Steve gave me uh, <laughs> was something like that. And, but the only thing I would say, Darren, if this ever comes to fruition and this becomes a real thing, think about the hops that you're going to grind up and add to the ice cream and know that some of the tones that come out of those hops are because they reach certain temperatures. So just, pl- you know, do a lot of like playing around with it. But I think this could be a fucking awesome like idea and things uh, to pursue with, which is, you know, the semblance of craft beer always pushing the envelope. And I think this is something you could definitely win by because you did. Dennis, just so you know, it's Ooh, all burn. It's all fuggle all the time. All fuggle all the time. It's a I fuggle don't know what hop, that means. baby. Fuggle hops. Mm. It's mostly in stouts. Super low IBUs, which is where uh, Adam lives his life. Uh, that is very Adam. true. <laughs> so with that in mind, uh, just to read your scores off quickly, and we'll crown a champion of this round. Well, we have, with 31 points, Beth coming in. That's why I just run front of house. I mean, don't you, you don't have to be upset. You did very well. Yeah, you're very you got a close. lot more points than I did. I'm last. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in second place, we have Bobby Nacho with 32 Nacho's points. Left. Oh. 32 points. Son of a bitch. Give him a crown. <laughs> Give him a goddamn crown. But <laughs> with 34 points, the reigning, defending, Two-time champion. I think it was rigged though. Of Couch Brewery. Absolutely. Brewed. Oh, look, oh, look at, at that. that. Look at my belt. <laughs> <laughs> we have Darren oh, wow. Galloway. Nice. <laughs> and I can achieve super DIY, champions. which I love everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> now you know I what I'm doing. these championships because I am a stable genius. <laughs> I'll, I'll find you one of those belts at the thrift store. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what I'm doing when I'm not talking. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I thought you were doing something this else. This is actually a lot yeah. tougher than you're what it best, seems but like. That only took up a couple minutes. Like, hey. If you're just listening That's to this or watching, are. this is a lot tougher. You know, because like there's no lag in between. Like you guys pop an idea, I'm like, what, what, what would you do? And it's like, holy shit, it's it's freaking tough. Man. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> hey, you, what would you do for a couch for <laughs> <laughs> And then like you get answers like breast milk IPAs. <laughs> no, yeah, no. I ne- I will say this. So I filled up many notebooks before with ideas. I thought you were I've saying, never I written down breast, breast milk. cantaloupe. Like fucking breast milk. Again, like, I, I base never... that off of friends. I don't know for real. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like it could be good. Could be. Could be. Could be. But uh, something yeah, about melons I... just makes you want to, you know, drink more. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think everybody had a lot of good ideas tonight. But uh, <laughs> yeah, the notebook definitely got filled up here tonight. The notebook was filled. Oh yeah. There's a lot of things that can happen in the future for Couch, and if you recognize it from the show, then I don't know. You have to pay us money for something. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> but yes. Can we General... buy breast milk to make this cantaloupe beer? Is that the thing? Yeah, of course. You can, we can buy, buy breast, breast milk. milk. I don't know if Done. you can use it, but you can buy it. I don't know if you can I use it too. That's a good question. Thing. I don't think is that's it a FDA thing. approved? Is it I don't no. think that. Is. I don't think so. Probably because if they're pasteurized and all of that, <laughs> you got to go to like a bank, like a sperm bank. Oh, pasteurized? You just make her walk. Why are we talking about sperm now? <laughs> I'm not. Ta- I'm just saying. I'm. I'm trying to correlate. Oh, you. oh, because I'm not drinking. Somebody just it got shot again. <laughs> or sperm in it. <laughs> I'm trying to. I shouldn't use that on the salty beer that I was talking about. The salty. Pork belly beer. So, dear, mm. your conglomeration with with the tinctures. I thought you were going for a sour IPA. It would have hit Me? both of them. 
Darren. Eh, I don't uh, like compromised beers, though. You know. Thank you. <laughs> I hate sour IPAs. I will die on that hill. But that would have made that would that would have fit both both of them perfectly. He likes the IPA. She likes the sour. You the know sour. what they have? That's that 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 has both of them together. Bubba and his wife, child. But they still they are still their own people. So let them be their own people. You know, just because they have a kid together doesn't mean they're tethered at the hip. Maybe that kid's an <laughs> asshole. You know, yeah. more than likely. Most it's only been around for are. a little bit. <laughs> She's a sweetheart. I don't Until know. told otherwise. I don't know. Bubba sounds like he probably produced an asshole. Just saying. <laughs> Eventually, yes, but. <laughs> Because Bubba doesn't like breast milk cantaloupe IPAs. <laughs> His wife better use formula or he's not staying married. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. You can edit that out. The Hot Nation USA <laughs> Divorce Podcast. <laughs> Coming from the only female. <laughs> Your cast happy, relationship advice. Yeah. Got to find a way then, to stick out something. Don't come to me. Don't come to me on that. <laughs> All right. Well, we ranked you guys, but I think it's time for us to give our own rankings because we have drank all three of these couch beers that we've had tonight. The F1, the F2, and the F3. Mm -hmm. If anybody's willing to go bronze, silver, and gold, or I can go first. I'll jump in. Go ahead, Dennis. Because I'm not sure yet. So uh, jumping out on the bronze category, I will have to give it to the F3. I love like everything that the fest bump represents. I like shandies. Um, this was super, super lemony, super zesty. It, it's a good refreshing brew, uh, but it falls into the category of I can only have a couple of these just for how lemony it is. Um, and like, don't get me wrong. If this, if I have a hundred pack of these in the house, I'm going to drink them till I just like fall asleep somewhere. Like, let's be honest. But if I have, you know, an assortment of the F1, F2, F3, I'm going to switch over a little bit at this point. So go, coming in at silver, I'm going to give it to the F1, the hazy IPA, which uh, it was a hazy brew. Um, but it was super, uh, well-balanced, uh, for a beer multi up front that West, not even West Coast. I think we called it a race over AKA flyover IPA. Uh, you know, so it's still giving you that backbone of hops. I really enjoyed that brew. I can have multiple of those until tomorrow's not even a question anymore. I just, you time travel at that point. Uh, but my gold medal has to be given to the F2, the CTC Amber Ale, because one of my favorite brews ever has, or favorite cereals ever, has always been Cinnamon, cinnamon Toast Crunch. And that was such a well balance of, I'm not overly sweet, but I'm going to give you like some malty uh, meat with this beer, um, some cinnamon and Cinnamon Toast Crunch back end, and it just be an overall super well balanced brew. So that for me, will be coming in at number one, the gold medal category. Nice. Right on. Uh, Adam, would you like to go or I can go? You go. Okay. And then I'll go. Okay. Uh, so for me, I'm going to put F2 in at bronze. Uh, as I already said, Amber Ale is my favorite style. And I just, you know, I don't particularly you know love it. But I do enjoy the little kick that the Cinnamon Toast Crunch gives it. So, yeah, it's not a bad beer. It's just not my favorite. With the silver, I actually have a little bit of debate going, and I'm just going to go F1. I really enjoy the Hazy IPA. I really enjoy that it's more closer to a West Coast style than it is the soft kisses of a New England IPA. It's not, you know, just in, I don't know. Those beers just don't do it for me. I like them. I'll, I'll still drink them, but they're just not what I'm always looking for. And I would much rather drink something bigger and heavier like this. This is a 7% with a nice bitter kick at the back end. And it's flavorful, but it doesn't blow your palate out. So that's why it's silver. But man, this F3 is so perfect for the season right now. Like it's so goddamn hot in this room. You can't see it. <laughs> it's hot in here. Take <laughs> and, your clothes off. 
There it is. There you, it is. Beth, you don't know that I'm not already naked because that's true. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't I'm, see. I'm pretty, I'm pretty upset. I would like to see this. <laughs> I don't think you do. Yes, yeah, so that's a that's a hard Look, no. <laughs> don't, don't don't judge my uh, my standards. Never never ever sell yourself short, Steve. Yeah, <laughs> well, absolutely, Steve. Whip I'm not saying I'm not saying it's short. I'm just saying the rest of me is kind of there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everybody loves somebody. Just he is literally <laughs> built like a grizzly bear, like super Even lovable. Better. <laughs> Even better. Uh, but yes, because it is so hot and I am so sweaty, this F3 is incredibly refreshing. You're like, speaking this is, all the right languages. This is a crusher of a beer. And like it's way, it's been mentioned before about how some shandies come off with that medicine-y artificial flavor, but you can tell this is made with fresh juice and it has a nice little multi backbone to it. And so yeah, that's why F3 is number one for me. It takes the checker flag. Oh, it was awesome, Steve. Awesome. He's been sitting on that one. <laughs> yeah, you are right, Steve Dennis. <laughs> Steve has a whole bunch of good ones, man. Like, if you go back to our first podcast, he had a whole bunch of good ones. That's what he does. <laughs> ah, it's my turn, isn't it? Take us home. <sighs> this is going to be tough. All right. Definitely F1 is three for Adam. You are absolutely 100% correct. Yes. I'm going to go F1, F3, F2. F1, F2. Ooh. I'll let you know here in a second. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, but the, the F1, the hazy IPA, is in a bronze medal position, and it is not because of the craft. It is not because of the acumen of the brewers. It is simply because I am not an IPA guy. Uh, and just because of my personal taste, it goes in a bronze medal position. That does not mean that I wouldn't recommend it to other people because I most certainly would. Uh, like I said earlier, if you're looking for a beer to kind of get into the IPA realm, if you're kind of – you know, scared of it a little bit. This is a fantastic beer to, to work your way in there. Uh, this is definitely a gateway beer for that. F2 and F3, this is where things get interesting because I've gone back and forth on both of these and I'm not sure which way to go. And it is very close. It's going to be a photo finish. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. But I think... <laughs> I think you got the caution flag out right now. Mm. I think I'm going to put the F3, the Fest Bump Shandy, in a silver medal position for one reason and one reason only. Uh, the only reason it's going in the silver medal position is right now, as we're recording this, it is nighttime. That means the sun has gone down. That means I don't need the level of refreshment. <laughs> Thanks that for I telling would. us out of what nighttime means. <laughs> <laughs> nighttime is the right time. So the sun has gone down. Yes. Yes. Uh, so since it is the nighttime, I don't need quite as much re <laughs> level of refreshment. Uh, so the F3 is going to go into the silver medal position. It's a fantastic beer. I'm going to get more. That's all there is to it. Uh, but the F2, the CTC, uh, the Couch Toast Crunch, the Amber Ale, that just barely wins by a nose. Ooh. Yes. Just by the fairing. The yes, that's right. It's got a little kick out on the nose, Ricky Craven style. Yep. Uh, it's going to win by just that little bit. That's another one that I'm going to get more of. So F1, F3, F2. That's my rankings. Nailed it. Right on. Thank you very much, man. Thank you guys so much. Oh, thank you guys. And yeah, everybody had them all rated differently, so that means the, the right. quality is like right there, you know, mm -hmm. so – yeah, there's not a bad one to no, not it's all. just no. all about preference. It's it was actually subjective. really tough. It yeah. was a tough one, man. Yeah, that's that's, Bobby that's Bobby all a testament to Bobby, man. Those are all Bobby, Bobby beers. All here, so we make Bobby something for everybody. Beers. Fuck yeah, Bobby. Can Those I say may have all come in yeah, different categories and different uh, rankings, but Bobby Nacho is number one. He's our gold category. <laughs> He's our golden boy. He usually says I'm number one. <laughs> Bobby Nacho is the mechanic for all of these cars. Ah, uh, oh, man. Ooh, you've been thinking about that one. <laughs> the only request I have is that F5 is refreshing. Because it's going to be that cantaloupe beer, I'm telling because you. Because F5 it's on it's the... As long as it's not made with actual breast milk, because I don't think you can do that. No, I don't think we can I get think... that approved. 
I don't think we can put that on the label. <laughs> no, it's like, but at Couch Brewery, you can get your own T-shirt. You never What's know. in this? Well, you it's organic, know. handmade. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> we'll have that at the brewery. I'll have, I'll have like a, like a thing you can, would you like fresh uh, pump breast milk in your beer? I think we just have people come in and donate them and we'll just fresh squeeze yeah. all Hey, we're all about organic here. I feel like someone has to be pregnant. You guys can't just be going over there just tugging on some uh Someone some has to be pregnant. Just of like, course someone's pregnant. <laughs> well, I'll just make sure everyone realizes that and you're not just tugging on nips and then just saying, what, what's in here, powdered <laughs> milk? What you got here? <laughs> well, whenever you write the, the, the promo or the little bio, the little blurb for this uh, podcast, Make sure you mention explosions, breast milk, racing, yeah. and uh, it's all in the shirtless, SEO. Shirtless. <laughs> shirtless. And shirtless. Did we talk about tea bags at all? No, no, no we didn't mention. <laughs> no, tea bags. Don't just hoping. But uh, from what Bobby might be working on soon, we might be talking tea bags here. Oh, oh, you got Steve's attention. I know. I'm telling that. you, I'm down with the tea bag ale. Jesus. Wouldn't be the first one. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis has already helped me with a tea bag, didn't you? It's true. We did a good I think one he with helped uh, Aaron with that too. The night Anyone who's himself. ever lost in Halo knows all about tea bag. <laughs> I mean, Halo, Call of Duty, it's all there. Oh yeah. I think Halo is the OG though. Yeah, yeah. So, with that in mind, of tea bagging. <laughs> If you I'm have any, if you have anything else you would like to plug, the brewers from Couch and Beth, uh, just talk about your business, your websites, wherever people can find your beer, and anything else they can look forward to. I know we're drinking the F three right now, and that's coming out this weekend. Yep. So, yeah. Um, we have more beers coming out. Uh, there's not going to be an F four, but there is going to be a last one in this series of our racing car series. And then the next series is going to be, hey, should we tell them about it, Bobby, or no? Throw them a little teaser. I, I wouldn't go overboard, but throw them a little Give teaser. them the exclusive. Yes. <laughs> um, I could I could never do it, but woo! That's a little, <laughs> a little, a little uh, teaser for the next woo! series. Ooh. Yeah, a little much limousine Bobby. riding. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bobby Nacho's on his back porch just yelling, woo. My the neighbors, neighbors are like, what yeah. is well, happening? It's a, We've there. all been there, Dennis. We've all been there. <laughs> it's a lot better than the explosions down at Beth's house. That is true. But, uh, so, you know, man, everyone check us out, couchbrewery.com. All the social media is Couch Brewery. Um, our, we have links to our online store there. Because come on in, check us out, order online. We can't wait to open back up to see everyone again. Uh, whenever we do come back, you know, you can book us for events. Uh, our bingo is going to be off the F and chain coming up. So we are coming back with a total freaking, we are using this downtime to freaking fine tune everything. And we want to give everybody a nice big surprise whenever they come back. And it's not going to be the same old, same old, you know, you can go back anywhere else and get the same old, same old. With us, we're gonna we're taking everything up a couple notches. So that's because we miss everybody so damn much, and we want to get back into it. So, yeah. Beth, have we're, you have anything uh, to add? So we're gonna have some beer over at Edgewood, Edgewood, Edgewood Beverage. Is that what we're we're taking I think it's beer Southside to? Beverage. Yeah, but they're one. gonna have it over in Edgewood. I think it's Ed, Edgewood beverage over on Braddock Avenue. Uh, you can pick up beer there. You can pick up beer down at the brewery. Um, yep, bingo is going to be off the chain when we uh, bring that back. If you have any suggestions for some ideas for bingo, we're always, we're always down for some uh, suggestions for that. Otherwise, Saturday, no, Saturday pickups, we're going to start doing that again. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. And uh, Dennis, how about you? I'll slide in there. Uh, if you guys want to find out more about us at First Sip Brew Box, you can hit us up on seven different social media platforms. We're on the Facebooks, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, um, LinkedIn, TikTok, all kinds of really good stuff. Hit us up on uh, YouTube specifically. Search either the Daily Sip or First Sip Brew Box and catch us on our video series where we're doing all kinds of cool interviews with folks behind the craft beer industry. If you're looking for that really cool, unique craft beer uh, gift, check out 
Forbes.com because we were just featured in there today, which is super cool. But go to firsthipbrewbox.com, check out the different tiers that we have, and get some for some family members. Help us pay our bills. at and trying not to get shut off this month. <laughs> About it. Right on. And if you want to find us on social media, all you have to do is search Hop Nation USA, and that'll get you Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you want to listen to brand new episodes of the Hop Nation USA podcast every Friday, as you should, then search Hop Nation USA in your favorite podcatcher, like Stitcher Podbean, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, whatever cast, Couch Cast. Oh, yeah. Black Car Cast. Couch Milk cast. cast. Yeah. We're on get all your breast milks. And, uh, get that cantaloupe. If you're on any of those podcast catchers, then leave a five-star review because... We are an F6 show, but they Ooh. only let us use five. <laughs> and that's My a bigger boy. crime Wait. than us not oh, being no. jet Look flying. Steve is on top of it. <laughs> oh, man, riding, Steve. wheeling, dealing, kiss stealing, sons of guns. <laughs> Hey, thank you guys so, so much for having us on. We always love yes, being on that. Thank, oh, thank you for coming on. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Anytime being, you want to do this, you, we're, we're, we are up for it. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, I'll make sure they don't have any gunshots next time. Yeah, well, well hopefully next might, time. I'll tell them I'm busy. Yeah. 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 Make sure you guys aren't raiding a castle site. like yes. those cannons. <laughs> <laughs> we, we look forward to breaking bread with all of you soon. Yeah. yeah. yeah so hopefully next time we can just be on site and... Not have to do this over Zoom because yeah. I hate. No, Zoom. but seriously, <laughs> thank you for you know, we're the first brewery you've had in a long time, and uh, yeah. that's yes, awesome. thank you, thank you guys so much. Yeah, I mean, you guys have everything going on, and I mean, honestly, don't be surprised, audience, if we go to abjuration next because you know we have that history with them as well. But <laughs> do it. But uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys, you put out good beer, and you guys are doing your best, and you're surviving through this all we also wanted to get bobby nacho on because like we've had that we've talked to him in the past and we know the brew that he's put out so what? that was a good time to put him on so yeah it, everything lined up and uh we were just happy to be able to feature you guys's beer again and talk to you again because you know you're good conversationalists and we also know you're good representatives of the community because you have the most welcoming inviting inclusive space in Pittsburgh, and I don't think enough people know Thank that, you. but they should. Thank you, Thank you so much, yeah. Dan. Thank all, you very much. All are welcome down at Couch Brewery. Yep. Yeah. Come on down, hang out, have a beer. We're two or three or seven. We're two or three. <laughs> and then have some steak have burritos bring afterwards. Bring games down. Oh, bring don't do the steak burritos. <laughs> oh. They don't steak come in talking. Don't go to open. Taco Bell. That was like a come. weird. <laughs> that was a weird moment that obviously we. I had like twelve beers where I demanded that Taco Bell please me. He's <laughs> open for me. All right, Taco Bell, please, please. Taco Bell. <laughs> you can, you can skip Taco Bell and just order from Pizza Parma. They'll bring it yes, down. You don't even have to. Right you don't have to show up and and demand tacos just you think they'll bring you a pizza Dennis way, carried next... his way into a closed fast food restaurant <laughs> jesus i think that says more about me than anything ever but, but you're, you're you're super cool and super nice about it yeah that's true i wasn't otherwise asshole. i don't think they would have opened up for you yeah <laughs> i speak to a manager no it was like come oh, on, Dennis man. was like he was a total sweet talker <laughs> I, was like, I just want a taco, man? man. I just want a taco. Yeah. Just, all right, all right. I get it. You don't have ground meat. What you got, though? What you what got? You got? What you got? Politeness you put on that everything. That's compromise. Yeah. <laughs> and she literally just do opened that. up a restaurant. Turn the lights back on That's for awesome. us. Awesome. <laughs> just want a taco, baby. <laughs> if right, you said well, it like that, then I don't know how anybody wouldn't give you a taco. That's true. Well, that <laughs> has not worked out early on in my life. So <laughs> <laughs> Keep practicing. There's many times times people wouldn't give me a taco all right but that's that <laughs> <laughs> and on that note <laughs> college a, years don't ex that, that doesn't apply that's how you end the episode <laughs> <laughs> that's another episode for sure <laughs> all right well that's it we'll Tacos see you next week thank you guys so much always thank awesome you seeing you yeah. thank you appreciate it cheers bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye.